feel like I'm forgetting something. I I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like I genuinely feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know what it is, but I definitely feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> At least something. I don't know. Well, yesterday... Yesterday we got <laughs> through... Oh, we started up Chapter 10, and we got up through Cosmo Canyon into uh, <clears throat> Nanaki Red 13's, uh, I guess, trial. And, uh, good lord. We got to Ginatak, so we got through the majority of it. I got to Ginatak. <clears throat> and I can't do anything against the dude. Like, he's just putting the hurting on me. He is just putting the hurting on me. Big time. So we gotta... We gotta do... Something. We gotta do something. I don't know what that something is, but... <clears throat> we gotta do something. So we're gonna have to, like, sit around and try to... Figure out, like, an approach... That we can take to, to fighting him. Because he was whooping my butt something fierce. I think we got maybe him down to like half health. He was spamming in his like little summon buddy things. And that was that was that was hurting. That was hurting hard. So I'm not I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do against them. <laughs> we're gonna have to look at our materia and stuff and see what all we can do here because i i'm not i'm not entirely sure <clears throat> i have assess we need to assess them maybe we can we gotta we gotta go through like a bunch of things i don't think the hermy shoes are gonna be good on bear we're gonna have to redo the materia too i'm gonna put a different <clears throat> different set of stuff on them i want to see what we have on cloud here and then Cloud and Aerith, and then we'll we'll redo some things here. So I'm just gonna jot down in my notes. <laughs> we'll jot down the material that they have so I can throw stuff back on them. Alright, Cloud. What's Cloud got on his Cetra? Elemental. And some of these will stay on, some of these won't. <laughs> AP up. HP up. ATB stagger. <clears throat> Not ABT. How did I do that? <clears throat> ATB stagger. HP absorb. What else we got? Skill master. We probably have to put some of this stuff on them, too, so that they can build up stuff. ATB better. First strike and, uh... Precision. Defense. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and then Aerith has the other Cetra one, so what does she have on it? We'll just put these on, because this will allow me to add more stuff to uh magnify and fire this will allow me to add more stuff to i don't think she needs half this to bear it in red's uh load out here first strike ice and synergy He doesn't really have great stuff on AP up and the final one is <clears throat> swift cast he used one word okay what was that two four six wait how did I miss one eight two four what did I what did I miss here 
<clears throat> magnify fire wind first strike ice synergy AP up to how what am I missing two four six. oh <laughs> it's a me problem there we go I had ice and synergy in the same row. All right, so we can take this off of. Uh... All right, so we're gonna put that on them. Trade equipment, sure. And then celestial for clouds here. All right. He's got Magnify on, but we don't have it with anything. I definitely was not... ...approaching this fight right. Maybe we can use... I don't think I need Lightning. Unless we do, like, Magnify and Lightning. I think I do want something like that, though. <laughs> like a magnify on something so that I have a better way of dealing with when they summon in the crowd. I have a better way of then just, like, fighting one at a time. I can, like, take out a bunch of them. So maybe we should have something like we have like fire and it's binding. Don't I have like fire and ice? Okay, so I could I could switch that around. We could put magnify on fire and ice. <clears throat> that way he's got both there. What about some of Cloud's, like, ATB stuff? Elemental? Who else has Elemental? Barret, right? Maybe I moved Elemental on to Cloud. Who else has the other one, then? I thought I had Elemental on Barret. But maybe I moved it... Oh, I think I moved Elemental down for... Uh, speed. I don't think we need Elemental. <laughs> I don't think he does any Elemental stuff. Who has the other one? I could see Yuffie having it. But she... Who the hell has it? Um, it's up here. Nobody. <laughs> I want to put it on somebody so we at least get something for it. <laughs> Blam. There's an AP up that we're not using. We got we got another one. That's dope. Uh, 
Um, move petrify. I just, I would be great if we could get some, like, Elemental Absorb at some point. It's not thinking within the box right now, but it would be nice to have that. Alright, um... <clears throat> what can we add? ATB Stagger, I think I want... That. Giving more ATB out. That steadfast block is max. Do we have precision defense on him? Yeah, we do. Okay, and it's maxed out. We have steadfast. Which is great. All that adds to our ATB gauge. probably get rid of magic efficiency we don't need spare change that's what i want to put no it's a, not a great idea but i'm going to take the assess earrings off so we're going to put assess on i know assess isn't great but we haven't there's like he's got some like ads that i never scanned before atb is so precious and i'm going to end up wasting it there i really wish you just needed to assess him once i mean i don't have to do it it's just for the completionist in my brain. Alright, I might remove lightning for... kind of want to poison. Can we poison him, maybe? We can try that. What's... Perfect. We could take that off Tifa, so... Switch switch those two so now we can <clears throat> maybe we can poison Ginatak and at least have health be ticking down on him uh, so red's gonna be like the main person we're using here maybe I should have the computer use him All right, we have Chakra for healing. He's got prayer. Do we have something that, uh, what is it? The ATB stagger, large ATB boost. Do I have another one of those? We're not really staggering a lot, but regardless. Okay, Aerith has it. ATB stagger. Alright, we put that on Barrett. That'll help. <clears throat> I don't think I have, like, another ATB assist. What other ATB boosting stuff do we have? I mean, can you... Does that work for you? Transfers any increase in limit gauge to allies. Your own limit gauge will no longer fill. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> I have to also... We need to look at the weapon abilities, too. I need to look at weapon abilities and find something that is going to, like, see if we're not using something that can be beneficial to us. I'm largely just using a couple of them. We need to take a look at those, too, and see what's going to benefit me here. All right, they both have precision defense. I guess his isn't maxed. Okay, what's... No, everyone has... Barrett doesn't have Steadfast. 
Large ATB boost when guarding. Perfect. I don't know if we need first strike. First strike is nice, but I don't know that we need that. Barrett having speed up is helpful. Maybe we should put some like vitality and spirit shit on them. None of those are max. That gives us 20% more. That would give me 15. Maybe. I could increase somebody's strength too. This bonus cannot see to 100%. Where do you even get another one? <laughs> where, do you, where do you even get another strength up? Like, they say the same thing on, like, a bunch of them. Like, where do you get some? Like, those I understand, but I've never seen another speed up. Like, where would I get another one? Is, like, you... How... You can't buy them. Maybe you can, uh, like I said, we need to go back to the Moogle shop and see what they're selling there. They could sell some things that might be beneficial to me that I don't realize. Um, I want, I want on red 13. I don't want, we want the draconic earring, I think. I don't, expeditionary. Yep, that's what we want on him. So that when we get to the end, we have something. What's up, K.O. Gortrout? How you doing, homie? And we want that on him. I don't know what I want on Barrett. Fills the limit gauge after consuming MP. I mean, if we're using synergy over and over again, we could boost stuff. I don't know how often that we'd actually use synergy. I need to try to use it more. See, now the problem with using synergy, it's not really a problem with using it. It just, using synergy, you're vulnerable. Unlike when you do limit breaks, you can still take a shit ton of damage when you're using a synergy attack. Usually it stuns an enemy, but not always. I need to be I need to be careful about it. It's a good thing, I think. I might put on the demon chain. I mean, having haste at the beginning of the fight, building up your ATB gauge at the beginning, that's cool, but it doesn't last the whole time. It's just temporary. If it was a short fight, it would be one thing, but this is this is a this is a twelve round fest, slug fest, you know. Uh, not at not at the beginning of the the battle. You got around to responding to this project manager alongside the other members. How'd that go? I mean, if I needed another spot, I guess we could put something like this on. And see if there's something else so that we can throw on them. I don't need that. Not really getting. S Maybe? I don't know. So there is, in, in like the second phase, there is a detrimental status effect that that can get applied to you. I don't know if. Yeah, let's throw it on him. See if we can like nullify it. All right, we have to look at our materia again. What else are we going to throw on Barrett here?
I could cast Comet. I don't know that we want Comet on him. He's got a bunch of ATB boosting stuff. If we can put Ginatok to sleep. You know what's annoying? I can be put to sleep and the enemies can just wail on me. I put the enemy to sleep and you hit the enemy and they're just like, hmm, yeah, what, what's up? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and they just go back to attacking. I don't like the fact that, that, that it doesn't work the same way for both. Maybe we need, like I said, maybe we need mana wall. How many magnified do I have here? I have two. The other one's on Aerith. I could put magnify and mana wall on Barret. And that way... You can apply mana wall, or maybe we could do haste instead. Maybe we could do that. Let's try that. Alright. Yeah, put magnify on him. What can we get rid of here? Probably comet. Or... Time. And then we'll switch those two. We'll put Comet on her. Just so we can be sure to uh, get our uh, AP in these empty slots. Project manager is still not getting it. They're hung up on the time you tentatively set. They also have wrong info still. They said you were repeatedly pushing back the time. And you had a better idea of when you can make it. I gave another estimate. Also, they're still bringing up the multiple people were waiting thing. When you're only aware of one. Well, that sounds like a communication issue. They did not communicate to you that there were multiple people, right? They never, they never said that there's going to be others waiting for you to show up, right? They never said that. Did they allude to it somehow, or did they just straight up not say it? Oh, I bet you that was the, the AP. That was on Swiftcast. I need to move something else around. I need to put that on. Wow, man, this is a mess. But afterwards, you were not initially made aware. That was an afterthought. Yeah. Like, they initially didn't say that somebody was going to be waiting. Afterthought. Yeah. The initial conversation wasn't that other people were going to be involved. It was just going to be the two of you. 
I'm making excuses when you're just bringing up truths about the situation and surrounding stuff. You're not gonna win this. You're not gonna win this. If there's anything to win or prove, this person isn't gonna change their mind. Were the other people part of your group? Or were they just like outside observers? Casual outside observers. <laughs> Might be able to put on ATB boost onto one of them. Maybe. They're all in the group. One of them is completely fine with what happened. They were just working on their own stuff like a normal person. It sounds like a hot mess. But it also sounds like the person is in... I mean, they're, they're not listening to you. They've already made up their mind on the situation and have painted you as they're going to see you. You're not going to change it. You can say your piece, you know? If you, if, you know, it sounds like you already have. But continuing to argue with them is only going to make the both of you angrier. That's all that it's going to do. You're both just going to scream at each other until you're blue in the face and no one's going to see otherwise. You presented the facts that you put forward. They said no. There's really not much else that you're going to gain from the situation, you know. It sucks. It definitely sucks, but continuing to push anything, you're not going to get anything back from it other than pushback and probably pissing the person off even more. So, you could be the bigger person and be like, sorry dude, there was just a miscommunication. We just need to try to work better in the future, you know? Nip it in the bud, try to be the bigger person, and just be like... Yeah, that sucked. Sorry, it's all fucked up. You have an apology, and you also requested they give you an apology for their actions. Which they did give. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. I think that's the best that's going to happen in that situation, yeah? It's unfortunate. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's all some giant bullshit and Rudy doo doos. Giant Rudy doo doos. Yeah, just be sure to like try to get better communication. You know? Say that you'll try to communicate better, which I'm sure you were communicating fine, but who cares? Just say that you'll try to communicate better and hope that they can also communicate better about the situation you know people really do need to be more understanding about stuff like that where it's just you know yeah you're a student you have other responsibilities and sometimes things happen and it sucks when you set aside time for someone and they can't make it yep that does suck but um life happens and people should be understanding of that because shit be happening some people aren't you're not gonna win it over you just kind of have to be sometimes it sucks being the bigger person because even when you're right sometimes you have to admit that you're wrong just so that you can like continue to push things forwards but look at it this way once this project's over you don't have to deal with that fuck twit again so <laughs> unless you somehow magically get a job and they're like your workmate that would be horrible but 
you know, you don't have to deal with it. So just play nice. And then when it's all over, you get to just go, all right, thanks for the follow. You don't want to ask this person you were planning with to let you in anymore. But you're going to have to, right? You're going to have to. I don't know what we throw on Cloud here, just for the sake of, like, having something on him. Because I took, I took all the stuff that I would. Let's just throw random shit on him. Random shit for Cloud. Blah, tal. There we go. All right. What are we doing? You wanted to continue this project, though, through post-graduation? But this has left a sour taste in your mouth. I'm sure it has, man. I'm sure it has. Prayer, Steadfast, Block, MP Up, ATV Stagger, Time, and Magnify. All right, so we can throw on Haste. Got Block. I might take off Auto Unique Ability. That's Barrett using... The problem with... This is so fucking stupid. When the computer uses the the techniques it doesn't build as much atb gauge so barrett has this ability called uh overcharge and it, it hits it shoots out like three or four extra big blasts it does some extra damage and it helps build up the atb gauge pretty quick when i do it it fills like the entire fucking bar when the cpu does it it fills like a quarter of the bar Why? That seems so arbitrarily stupid. Like, no, no, no ATB for you. This is, this game's a little bitch. <laughs> you have one other person who can let you in for sure, and another grad student who's in our faculty mentors lab who can let you in. I mean, all right, so you can try to avoid having to work with them as much as you possibly can, so that's good. Maybe I should put on... Oh, I had him with Magnify, and then I put that there with Fire and Ice. Maybe we should put another Magnify on him. Silence didn't stop Ginatak. You can silence him, but apparently whatever he's doing isn't magic, which is fucking bullshit, because he's summoning in, like, creatures and stuff like that. Nah, it's not magic. Hey, I'm summoning in four giant fireballs. No, it's not magic. Well, then what the fuck would you call it? <laughs> the other person's a commuter, so that may be difficult for both of us. Think they're around often enough? Find find out whatever their schedule is, you know? Be like, hey, whenever you're in the lab, let me know so then you can show up and use it, you know? Try not to put them out. I don't know what I could give up here. I could take Provoke off. He's not using Provoke. Not in this fight. So we could take Provoke off. And I can put Magnify and Binding on. Who else has the other Magnify? And that way I can put Mana Wall on him too. Oh, I only have two Magnify, so it doesn't fucking matter. I, I, I literally can't. Damn it. Poopies! I don't even know what I took off. Put it back on. Whatever you took off, uh, put it back on. Undo. Where's the undo button? I guess I could put first strike on and give him some ATB at the beginning of the fight. You can just revert to going in the evenings on Tuesdays and Thursdays when this initial person and yourself are for sure around. Cuts down your lab time. You don't know if you'll be able to complete what you need in eight weeks if you continue like that. 
Eight weeks is a lot of time. There's a lot of time. If you can't do it in eight weeks, then um, you should feel bad. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. All right, let's see what we can do here. I, I don't know if we actually did something that's an improvement or if I made things worse. I meant to look at the weapon gauge thing. Fuck me. Oh, you know what we need to do? I need to assess these nerds. I avoid that man like the big suck is Um, we have the, uh, Reaper Touch. Sorry. Should have paid more attention. And he has go fuck yourself, cereal. And he missed. Yeah. That's the best part about Red 13 is that he misses everything. Is the best part. Dude, I was going to have... Well, that's it. Me, he can't bring him back. And we just got the big suck. This fight sucks. This person who you were planning with messaged you saying that they're not going to wait for you anymore. Like, fuck, dude, it was one time you missed one previous meeting on late notice. But you didn't just ghost, you told them something came up one meeting out of like seven months. They're really petty assholes. That person sounds like a real fucking douchebag, man. Great, and he's already dead. That's super good. How, 
This is such a terrible attack, man. It feels so shitty. can't use items, man. This is hard mode. What's up, Willie? How you doing? Get away! The worst fight in the world, man. Oh, that's awful. Hey, Albert, how you doing? I already tried casting rays on him, too. It doesn't do anything. You can do damage with cure, but you can't just, like, instantly kill him. Interesting. I don't think we want that.
Can you do it again? How goes life, Albert? How you doing today? Well, it went okay until that. I thought he was going to be... I did not realize Ginatak was going to target me there. I thought he was targeting Barrett. So I went to go do something and I died. The Magnify didn't really seem to work there. I'm just going to take off Fire and Ice and put on Fire. That didn't really seem to do much. That was weird. Hold on. Somebody just have fire here. There's a lot of lightning. No fire. Didn't seem good. Smart party just wants to say you resign from this position and just continue in the software sub team. You're tired of this lab BS, but you're done for now. Kick the shit out of this moth man. He's an undead reaper creeper that wants to give us the bad naughty touch. And I'm done for. We're already dead. Isn't that cute? And just right off the jump. Right? Just right off the jump.
Great. I mean, I'm I'm done for. He's dead. Yeah, man, no worries. be a way to stop him. I thought I killed all of the fucking specters there, man. Magnify is not hitting anything i thought it was gonna hit way more than it does it's not hitting a damn thing is our yeah is our magnify not like sure you take a minus 25 percent using it 
you know, you you lose out on some on some damage. But like magnify is not hitting anything. I wish you could see the bubble in which you're casting. There's a lot of small things about this game that would go just a long way to just understanding things a bit better. Sure, expand range of link materia. To what from what? Like, is the bubble this big? Is it tiny? Or is it, like, how much does it expand? It, I, I just don't understand. Maybe I should use something other than fire. Ice isn't going to cut it, but maybe I should use ice. I thought that was the problem. I thought it was the fire and ice thing that was giving me issues. Maybe I could use wind? I don't know. It's just not hitting enough of them. I thought I thought maybe with a couple casts we'd be able to like take some stuff down, but it doesn't seem that way. Siblings on vacation and every time you come home your parents asleep, so you haven't been able to talk to anyone? Yeah, no worries, man. Capcom? No, this is a uh, square. Oh, I want to poison him too. I forgot that I wanted to do that. Yeah, let's get that on. I completely forgot that we had that. I can't see, so that's good. Go for it. Guess it's my turn. This ah! Ah! Bring in the heat. Well, I took all that to the face. Alright, well they did poison him. Okay. Um something I wanted to do with Barrett. Yeah, they were called Squaresoft at one point. Back in like the two two of the biggest Japanese companies, Squaresoft and Enix. Uh Square made Final Fantasy and Enix makes possibly one of the biggest Japanese games outside of like Pokemon and Dragon Quest. And they merged back in like Uh Man, it was sometime during the PlayStation 2 era, like 2004, maybe something like that, 2002, somewhere in there. Oh, is it even earlier than that? I thought it was later than that. I didn't think Final Fantasy X was a Square Enix thing. It wasn't before nine. It definitely wasn't before nine. Nine is still nine is is. F My brain says that that was one hundred percent still Square Soft. I thought I didn't even think ten. I didn't even think ten. I didn't even think ten. I didn't even think it was before 11 came out, to be perfectly honest. Because I was thinking, like, Dragon Quest VIII. Dragon Quest VIII, I think, was the first, like, big joint thing that they put out. I don't think that they had put out a Final Fantasy that was, like, both of them. That's why I thought it was, like, 2002. But I could be wrong, man. I don't, I don't really remember, man. How you doing, T? Because 789, you know it. 
You know it. Well, we put poison on him. That was good. But then I got, like, absolutely decimated. Talk about an Two thousand three. That seems about right. I was right in the middle. I mean, I was. I said two thousand two to two thousand four. That's what I figured. So I was close. I'm usually not that close. <laughs> Time's a bit. You can't roll. I. The camera was going to screw me over there, so I wanted to get out of the way. One of the more infuriating things about this is you can roll and then attack, but you can't roll and then block. I mean, you can, but you have to just wait. Which is just beyond me fucking stupid. See, that's what I was trying to avoid. If I rolled out of there, I still would have got hit. This just sucks. I, I, I didn't know what was happening there. God, man. This isn't terrible. You were saying cereal? Yeah, no, it's fucking terrible. Good thing I blocked there. Okay, good, good, good. Man, I was blocking. I was freaking blocking. I just, I don't agree. <laughs> I want to do other stuff, but like, I constantly have to be... He's dead now. Because we can't free him from this, of course. Okay. <sighs> I'm 
getting that sweet damage over time. Barrett has a gun. He shoots stuff. I am putting poison on him. That is doing some damage. attack for it it's just shit man that attack is just fucking shit if he picks you up you're dead if he picks you up and you have zero atb your other character is just fucking dead that is such garbage i hate that fucking attack so much there's nothing i can do about it it's just get fucked I did not enjoy the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Gilgamesh, that's what it was. Gilgamesh fight. This is hands down worse than that. I mean, that situation right there is die or die. So when he summons in two adds, if I leave those adds in there, they instantly kill me. They have, like, some ability that just insta-kills you. So you have to take them out. Like, you've got, like, 10, 15 seconds, I don't know, maybe not even that long, to take out those two adds or they kill you. So you have to focus on them. You can't go and deal with Gi Natak and be like, well, whatever, the adds, you know. They'll kill you. So you have to deal with them. Like, I don't have a choice, so I'm putting myself in harm's way. Like, I had to attack and kill that thing right there. I hit block, but because of this game... God, man, I just... I do not like the blocking in this game at all. Now, oh, Barrett saved me with the pressure right there. Right there. I attacked once and then immediately held down block. I attacked once and then held down block. It's not like I have a problem like timing the attacks. I can get the immunity thing. Like I, it's it's just man, the fucking blocking in this game is just trash. Let's turn this around. <laughs> Barrett's dead. Yeah, we're fucked. Someone was saying the other day that while you're attacking, you can cancel out of it with a perfect... You can't. You you can't. Or else I would have done it at this point. I have, I have no problem hitting the block button on time.
Oh, thank God. When you see it coming, you can actually do something about it. Holy crap. When I actually have time to react to the withering grip thing, I can dodge it. Well, I guess not dodge it. That's not the right term, but I can block it. All right, well, Barrett took it down. Now Barrett's in a bad state. I can't stay ahead of this fight. That's like the big problem, is that every time I'm doing something... I can't believe we got that. He's dead. Yeah, now we're fucked. Great. Well, you can't dodge. You can't do dodging has no iframe. So if you're if you're if you're dodging to avoid attacks, you're going to get hit. The game wants you to block everything. That's that's the thing that you have to learn is that dodging is not how it works in most games where you know you you die it's it is a last minute as long as they don't have like a big aoe kind of thing you move a little bit faster when you i guess depending on the character some characters move faster if you run but it's just kind of like meant to like get you out of like sticky situations here and there you need that little extra oomph to get out of that you know closing window then you can, but you still take, you can still take damage, so you have to be really careful. Rolling is not how it works in most games, so the game really wants you to block. Really wants you to block. But the block just, it, it, it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. If you let go a block, you can't instantly put your block back up. There's like a cooldown. So if you let go a block, the character's just like, okay, well, I'm not blocking anymore. Even if you immediately, if you let go and immediately grab block again, I'm talking about like milliseconds. You're not gonna block. There's a cooldown. So a lot of bosses have like multi-hit attacks. I think that you can tap. I think that you can tap the button, but I haven't been able to get multiple immunity blocks ever. And the problem with Red 13 is it's really hard to tell when he's blocking. I went too early. I got two in a row somehow. <sighs> I can't defend something I can't see. And therein lies the problem. Therein lies the problem. We have to take down the ads. I can't focus on Ginatok. And if he appears behind me and does the withering grab and the camera's not focused on him, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. There's no way to see everything that's happening in the arena at one time. I can't... It is not possible for me to account for what the... What else is happening everywhere? I can't just sit there and block the whole time, you know? You're 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 under you're under pressure, you're under the gun to take down those ads. I can't sit there and be like, is he behind me? Is he somewhere around me? Is he gonna is he gonna cast his fire spell? Like I can't account for any of that. Thank God we went under him. Sometimes getting hit is beneficial.
He's poisoned? Okay. Okay, but he's dead now, so... I shouldn't have even tried to save him. There was no fucking point. I just should have tried to raise him. Save the extra ATB. Yep, and since they're flying, Red can't hit them, so that's great. Let's see here, which one of these? How about that one? Killed them all, so why does he get to do this though? There must be a way to stop them. I don't agree with that at all. I don't know what that is. Hey, I'm dead. I'm I'm just dead. There's Yeah. There's nothing I could do there. Like we were we were just dead. Playing some Power World. How you doing, Axe Man? Yeah. <laughs> 
is terrible news. What do you mean good news? That's not good news. It's awful news. Well, he's dead. God, I hate that attack. I hate that attack so much. I don't know why I tried to roll away. It's just my natural reaction is to fucking roll it. You can't do it. We still got a job to do. My turn. Now. Fear me. You need. Dang it. Well, that sucks for Barrett. Yeah, Barrett's dead. Big surprise. I don't know why I have this on. It's not like it does me any good. Maybe I should put Raze on instead so I can bring... Oh, we do have it. There we go. Yeah, look at how he's hitting him. Oh my god, man. He fucking sucks for... Why would you give a fight where Red 13 can't hit shit? Do you see this? He's not hitting him. Like, I'm attacking him and we're not making contact. Like, what is this? All you have to do is to put certain piles together and they'll make plow fluid. That somehow, and you like that better? Oh, he's dead again. No, he's not. Thank <laughs> you. 
really should have bear like cast haste at some point Let's see what we can do here. How about you? They look like they're all grouped together. Took that to the face. Why does he get to do this? I killed them all. That was the last one. I just don't understand that attack, man. This is not good. Could be dead. Oh, he's defending. had to grab me there, didn't he? He just had to grab me there. I mean, that's the fight. I can't do anything. It's the best we've done.
can't really see. Getting... Well, it's really bad. agree with that at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm just dead here. Yeah. Great. We were so close. If he didn't grab me the last time, I don't know that we would have won, but we would have at least had a chance. Barrett's probably dead here. He can't block the binding attack, so even if I did get it right, we need to put something on him that does allow him to do it. I know one of you have it. Oh, 
Really? Right there. At least he'll be able to block that. It's a binding attack. You need to have the max level precision defense to be able to block it. That's why every once in a while, I can't block that to save my life. Great. What's up, Moxie? How you doing? Oh, Barrett's dead. But we'd have some time. You're sick? I'm sorry, man. That sucks. What'd you think you got? This game, man. Got some fight left in you. Sorry. Leave it to me. Sorry to tell, it's major chest cold. Ah, that sucks. You're on antibiotics. Pills are messing you up big time. Yeah, antibiotic pills can really do run a run a poop on you. Where's a big bucket of water when you need it? Leave it to 
Dodging by it. Be a way to stop him. Come on, bear, don't die on me. Really? I don't have any magic, so I can't bring him back. So close.
Oh man, if Barrett didn't die there, we would have won. If Barrett didn't die there, if somehow he was able to block or survive, we would have won. That sucks. Like, we were right fucking there. Right there. Alright, well, we're starting to see the light here. Not, it's not often, but every once in a while we're getting, like, a run here. I'm feeling like I can do this. Before, I didn't feel like I could do this. I'm, we're getting somewhere. I don't know if we're getting somewhere good, but we're getting somewhere. I need to get bio on him again. In that, in that phase. We need to get bio on him again. He's right behind me. Eric! Okay, he's dead. We still got a job to do. Don't worry about it. Here goes. Twice. Got some fight left in you. My turn. Please don't attack, Barrett. And it's over. need to remember to use vengeance too. I forget that I have that.
I went really, really well, which means things are going to go bad really, really, really fast. We need somebody on the left side here. You. Shit. We didn't clear it out in enough time. There must be a way to stop us. Not good. I have no idea why we can't get that final tier.
Um... Holy crap, man! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> For all evanescent rancor, everlasting. Well done. You've become quite a formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. Oh, thank God. It just felt like the stars aligned there. I don't think I did anything particularly well <laughs> i don't think like i i played super well there it's just hell yeah the stars aligned you know man that's a tough fight holy crap we were there for two hours or about two hours and then what yesterday morning maybe like an hour or so hour and a half maybe another two hours i don't know how long we were there on them holy crap man that is by far the hardest fight that we've had so far. And that's mainly because he had, like, pretty much a insta-kill attack. A lot of the times, it's just, it's really hard. You can perfect parry the, the grab attack. You can perfect parry it, but man, like, it's... I just don't think I fully comprehend blocking in this. It doesn't work in a way that works in my head. It just, it's, it's wonky. It's got its own way of being used and it's just, oh, I don't like it. I'm going to be honest. I just, I don't, I don't like it. There's something about it that's like off to me and I don't appreciate it. It feels, it just feels weird. It just feels weird. It's a timing thing for sure. It just doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great. I feel like they can improve it for sure. The fact that you have to wait to block after you roll or while you're rolling is something that really should be amended. That really should be. If you can attack out of a roll, you should be able to block. There's no reason that you shouldn't be able to. That really should be. Um, but man... As, it's just a tough fight. As long as you can avoid the grab attack, or at least block it, or not be in the way of it, everything's fine. But, I mean, that, that's like, it'll take you from, you know, 5,000 health down to nothing in seconds. You've got, like, no time. You can use your partner to break out of the binding attack. But they really need to do a lot of damage quickly, and I don't know what a good way of doing that is. Like, using anything that's going to do a lot of damage takes a really long time to get off. So there's no, like, as far as I know, quick attacks that will unlock the binding. I'm not quite sure what you should do there. Maybe cast magic? I don't, I don't know how you would get your partner out of it. I know that you can... And I know that there's a limit to how much he'll absorb during that attack. So if I have, like, full health, I don't think he can kill Red 13. I think he can get, get damn close to it or bear it. They have, they have enough health that I think they can kind of survive it if they're at full health, which we never are. <laughs> so it constantly felt like a lot of these fights feel like if you make one mistake... You're, you're just clawing at the bottom. Now you're just clawing for survival. Like, I no longer feel in control of the fight. I feel like I'm clawing for survival. And there are very few moments where you can get yourself back into a position. 
it's rough because there's so many things that I want to do in the fight. You know, there's stuff that I want to cast. You know, I want to put on barrier, but I don't have time to put on barrier because I look at my character's health and I go, well, I can't do it. I need to heal. I probably, I probably should have put on heal on Barrett rather than using uh, prayer. Prayer takes two ATB gauges and I probably should have just been using heal instead because then it would just be one ATB gauge rather than two. Prayer's good. Prayer's good. Barrett's not great with prayer, but prayer is decent. That fight's just hard. That is a really tough fight. You know, someone was saying the other day how they, like, approached it, and basically their approach was to leave the area and go grind for materia. You can't leave here. You gotta, like, exit the chapter and then do the whole chapter again. So they went to go to, like, I don't know, grind to level up their materia so that they could come back in here and then, like, easily destroy the boss. I feel like if that's the intended way of doing things, like, they really want you to have, like, these maxed out materia and all that, that hard mode really isn't well thought out. Like, to me, then, it just says that you just cranked out damage output and you didn't do anything else. You just, you gave the enemies health and then you just made them do more damage and that's it. Maybe added some new attacks in there, but you didn't really balance it right. Yep, yep, just go grind materia for four hours so that you can just spam magic attacks. I don't want to, like, cheese the fight. I want to, like, get good at it and fight it, but man. God damn, that... I dislike that more than Gilgamesh. I don't ever want to fight Gilgamesh again. I definitely don't want to fight, uh... Gein attack again. Screw that shit, man. <laughs> that, was, that fight, that fight. The first time, I mean, it's tough. I never assessed. Who cares? I never assessed that fight. If I want to go back in, I guess we can go back in on easy mode and assess them. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. I missed it. I missed that you have one opportunity to assess those. Like, when was I ever going to do it, though? When was I ever going to do that? Where is he? Where's Natak here? They list them all. Gi, Spectre, but where's the, where are the bosses? Here? Okay, we're beyond all that. Where's Gi? I'm beyond this. Yeah, we missed the Soul Flame again. It what 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 kind of is annoying is that you'll get into the fight and I get it. It's not the same as the arena. You get into the fight and you you scan them and then you die and it kicks you back out. But it says you keep all your experience in AP. You know you keep all your experience in AP, but you don't keep the the scan. I wish they let you do that. That'd be nice. It's, I don't, there was not a single wasted ATB there. Like, everything was specifically used. Maybe there might have been a moment or two that I could have used it, but. I feel like we started to do a little bit better in that fight, too. I needed to remember to use uh, Vengeance Mode. You do a bit more damage when you do Vengeance Mode. And he can siphon some HP. It's not great. You don't siphon enough to make it really viable. If an enemy hits you for 6,000 or, you know, three or 4,000 HP and I'm siphoning off 200, that's not good. That's not helpful. <laughs> that's, that's not helpful. And it's a pretty slow attack that leaves you vulnerable. It's not super helpful. Thank God we're done with that, though. I guess if I ever want to get that, we come back in, like, easy mode or something like that and we can scan them. Screw doing that shit again, though. Man. That is just, whew. Thank God we're done. That was tough. That was tough. I can participate in chatting more now. I'm sorry that I wasn't before. That was frustrating. Oh, I thought we were going into a cutscene, we're not. 
The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of Here. our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait. Is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh. oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <coughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a watcher now. I gotta protect our home, like he did. Listen to me, Mama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. But no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry, we will. This trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all. I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto. Protector of our veil! <laughs> that fight had me so sweaty. I'm so sweaty right now. I'm super sweaty. Too sweaty. Bear the big old softy.
My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. <sighs> the warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. Was... Oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up, Patuta. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, this one's free. I think there are a lot of moments that go to show you you can't exactly trust what Cloud Season says. Like that right there. Throughout the entire game, you've been seeing like Sephiroth. Well, it's not necessarily true. There are moments where Sephiroth just appears and it's not a whisper or a... Or a... Uh, a black robe. Every once in a while, Cloud will like hear Sephiroth. And see Sephiroth. Even though there's not stuff around. You can't trust what Cloud sees. You just can't. He's, uh, he's losing his shit, man. He's definitely losing his shit. Uh, in that fight, though... It, as soon as we had Barrett alive in that last part, we won. That's all that we needed. We just needed him to be alive. We needed both members to be alive in that in that last like third quarter of his life so that we could just like melt it we just had to have it if barrett's not alive then we don't win that was a really tough fight that was like genuinely a really tough fight within that piece flesh is a tumult of emotion see to it that nanaki remains safe oh, 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 oh. Our world is filled with wonders. I bid you seek them out. It's not going to get easier. <laughs> it's not how games work, right? Escort fellow Guggenhagen back home. Take care, friends. Please look after Nanaki for us. Blessings of the planet be upon you all. You know, they they really do paint Guggenhagen off the jump as kind of this like ignorant old stubborn shithead. And, uh, he's really quick to change his tune, though. I mean, you're there for, I don't know, you know, in-game, maybe, like, 12 hours, right? And he's just like, yeah, I realize that you guys probably do know some stuff and have seen some things that I just don't understand right now, so... Yeah, that's good. That goes to, he says you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but you can. But you can, you just gotta have more of an open mind. And that's why Bigfoot is real. I tell you. All right, we have to like redo a bunch of things here because like I fucked my materia up something hard here. So let's see what we got going on here. Uh, Barrett, we are removing his bang jangle bangle. And I'm putting that back on uh, Cloud here. Cloudykins. You gonna get this bad boy? I had it on Aerith, but maybe we could just take it off. Because uh, I'm using Barrett in our party. Maybe we can uh, take it off. Of I just should have left it on him. Put it on red. I didn't think about it. We just could have left it there. Uh, the uh, it. I couldn't tell if it made a difference or not. I don't think the ribbon helped with Ginatox. Whatever his uh, ailment is. So what happened is, in 
in the first phase of the fight, there's like three phases. In the first phase of the fight, he summons in those ads. If you don't kill them, they, they straight up murder you. Um, and then in the second phase, he summons in a bunch of ads, but then he like absorbs them. And when he absorbs them, he then puts like some sort of curse on you, disability, whatever status ailment. And so I thought maybe you could block it with ribbon. But you can't. It's a unique ability that I guess is unblockable or un... Whatever, I don't know. You can't do anything to it. So if you don't kill them all, then you get whatever the status ailment is applied to you. What's up, Nate? How you doing, dude? Did you, uh, did you ever beat Sigrun? Did you manage to uh, beat her up? I just got through getting my head stomped in, so... Whew. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling a little okay. It's not gonna last long, but for right now, but for right now we're feeling a little okay. A little. Not much, but a little. You did yes, hell yeah, dude. It's a hard ass fight, isn't it? How long did it take you? I don't know how long it took me. It took me a while. I don't know how much of a while it was, but it took me a while. Elemental, AP up, HP up, HP ab absorb, MP absorb, I don't know, I don't want MP absorb on him. Skill master. First strike, precision defense. I think we had some, yeah, first strike. We have... Okay, I think I can put, I'm going to put this precision defense on him, and then I'm going to take the cool, other one cool. from down here. Put that one back on Barrett. What's up, NK? How you doing, homie? Yeah, it was crazy. Was that the last thing you had to do? You went and leveled up all your gear and found a talisman with three enchantment slots, which boosted your level by a crazy amount. It was nice. Yeah, leveling your gear up. It's such a huge difference, too. It is a huge difference between fighting her with, like, say, is it eight or nine that's max level? Eight? Eight? If you go in there with, like, level six, the difference between six and eight is just immeasurable immeasurable you go from taking like getting one shot and maybe like one hit taking away like nine tenths of your health to you can take two or three hits i think i got to where i don't know i was it was around like yeah eight and a half yeah that's about where i ended up for some reason, I thought you could get to nine, but I don't think you can. Um, yeah, I was at like six or something like that when I first got to her, and I was like, all right, let's do it, because I didn't want to grind on stuff. And then I went, yeah, I'm just going to go back and just get my gear leveled up. <laughs> I'm just going to go back and get my gear leveled up, because this is not happening. This is not happening. We're just going to, we're going to step away, because there is other stuff that I can do, you know? Sometimes you'll get to a fight and go, this is it. Like, I have nothing else to do. We just have to get good. At least in that one, if you're not max level already, you have you have room to improve, so that's good. That's a tough-as-nails fight, man. It is a no-joke fight. All right, elemental, AP. HP. ATB stagger. I think red has that. Okay, he may have had ass tense. Yeah, there we go. ATB stagger. Nice. The rift tears. The rift tears can be pretty tough. I didn't think that they were too bad. There's some tough fights. They are definitely some tough fights. I didn't think they were anywhere. I didn't think that they were anywhere near even the level of a Valkyrie. But they are tough fights. The Rift Tears are tough. They throw a lot of bullshit at you. 
they do throw a lot of bullshit at you. They're, I'm not. I'm not trying to say they're not hard. They are. <laughs> they are. They are definitely hard. I just didn't think that they were as hard. Um. Yeah. I want to put that back on cloud. What? Where did we have? Oh, I bet you I had speed up. All right, sure. Elemental, there you go. You know what? That that works out. And then you get fire back on them. Hell yeah. I want that speed up. Though, honestly, we should probably be leveling elemental. I do not have a single elemental that absorbs anything. <laughs> Nothing that absorbs. Maybe we should put that on an AP one. What she got? Warding with AP? Yeah, let's put the... Yeah, but then I, I can use it, though. I want to use it. Eat my big, fat, wet, juicy pomegranate. Mmm, yum. Gonna hope that beating Sigrun translates to Ragnarok, and maybe you can get through the Give Me God of War early game easier. I don't know if anything carries over. I actually don't know. I haven't seen anything from Ragnarok. I avoided everybody playing it like the plague, and I've heard very mixed things. I've heard some people say it's like the greatest thing in the world, and I've heard other people be like, mm, yeah, I didn't like it. It's weird that it's divisive, because it seemed fairly unanimous. Maybe not unanimous, but very much in the leanings of God of War 4 is like, amazing and ragnarok i i don't really i don't think i heard too many people speak anything bad of four but ragnarok yeah i've heard a lot of mixed things i want to play it but i've heard a lot of mixed things which is unfortunate your ability as a player oh yeah probably i'm assuming that it probably plays similar enough I felt that coming in from, in this game, from Remake into Rebirth, that I felt like I kind of had a leg up too, because I played hard mode, and I feel like that made, I mean, the combat's slightly different, but it's still similar enough, you know, it's not like they make any, like, huge changes, it's still pretty much the same thing, just with, like, some tweaks, so, we'd assume, yeah, you'll probably go in feeling pretty comfortable if you're going in right afterwards. Same, same. All right. So now we have HP up and HP absorption. HP absorption isn't connected to anything. I don't think that actually makes a difference. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Well, we don't have anything on cloud that would work with that. Okay, so HP up, AP up. We need ATB... Dagger. There we go. HP absorb. We had that. I'll move that up here. Skill master. Got it. First. Strike. Perfect. And precision defense. Alright, that's fine. I don't think it really matters what we had on Aerith for right now, because we're not using her. Gotta motivate yourself off of Pow World and play God of War Ragnarok. Just have fun with what you're doing, man. Murdering pals. Eating their tasty, tasty flesh meat. It's actually such a good game. You put it off for years and you regret it. Nah, you played it. There's nothing to regret. You played it. What's up, Smoke? How you doing, homie? How, uh, gozy woes is, is, is it? You're on chapter six now? Dude, look at you making progress. Hell yeah. Hell? Yeah. Alright, um, let's see what we can throw on Barrett. Good old berry bears. 
Oh, you know what we did? I took, uh, like, revival off of somebody here. We can leave Revival on Tifa like that, that's fine. Recall taking something off of Tifa, though. We probably don't need the Lightning and the Lightning and Wind on her. Maybe throw, like, Steadfast Block on her. I don't think she has that. Nope, she has that. You don't need two Steadfast Block. Mmm, Magic Efficiency, maybe. I think I had that on Barrett. I don't know why I had that on Red 13. That's not helpful. <laughs> Wasn't helpful for anything. If you had to shit talk something about this game, what would it be? Dude, I've been shit talking this game on hard mode, like, endlessly. <laughs> it's so hard. Not enough nudity. You don't like you have to do mini games to progress through the main story. Yeah, there are some mini games that are mandatory. There are some, not all of them, some. Um, I think my biggest complaints come in combat. I think some of my biggest ones just come from straight up combat. Combat's better than the first one, but I still feel as though it needs some TLC, you know? I don't know, maybe put MP up on her? Give her a little more magic? Combat's fine. No, I think it needs some tweaks. I, I definitely, I 100% think it needs some tweaks. There are certain things that can just make it more responsive, more fluid. They can um, completely remove cutscenes from combat or at least let you skip them. That's just infuriating. Like, there's nothing like getting into a fight and then waiting like 15 seconds. Like, it just, it slows down combat, man. It just slows down combat. It can... It can, it can eat inputs and stuff like that. Well, not eat inputs, eat ATB. It'll cancel out ATB and stuff. Um, oh, God. The blocking mechanic needs tweaking. Definitely needs tweaking. That's cool. I'm glad that you are perfectly fine. It's not. It's not. It's not. I've played lots of games, man. I'm not talking out my ass. I've played plenty of games that have better combat systems. Like, Remake's combat is clunky. This may... They sped it up, and that's good. And they made things a bit more responsive, but they still have they still have some some room to go. It just becomes when you get into hard mode, it becomes more obvious to me there are still issues in combat. That's okay. I'm not saying combat is bad. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I'm not saying combat's atrocious and this game's terrible because of it. I'm just saying the blemishes and stuff of the game become more apparent. This game is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, and I could definitely... I am saying that there is room for improvement. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying there's room for improvement. Combat is fine, but it can be improved upon. Tifa doesn't need magic. You know what the fun thing about games like this is? You can build your characters however you please, you know? That's the fun part. That's the fun part. I, 
one of, one of my and this is not a critique against the game this is a critique against me i've been so trained in video games to roll out of the way you know roll out of the way rather than block this game wants you to block and that's something that i i've just i can't for the life of me remember to do that I, i'm getting slightly better about it but this game does not want you to roll rolling you don't get iframes when you roll so they want you to block rolling is just like last resort kind of thing sometimes you have to roll but you definitely you definitely want to be blocking in this game and that's something that i just i've i'm i'm programmed differently you know I've, every just about every game has operated and it, it's just it's just trying to like deprogram myself to how this game wants you to play it and it's hard to do it's just hard to do i had a hard time with that in remake and i have a hard time with that in this you know you just i want to i want to roll out of the way of attacks because rolling out of the way gets you out of the way of stuff and there's just lots of stuff I just want to roll, man. I just want to. I'm a. Uh, I'm a. I'm a rolling son of a bitch. Some of a bitch. Go otters. Go otters. Indubitably. In dubidubidubidubly. Let's see. What kind of pointless material can we throw on them for now? Dooku. 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 Go otters. Dooku. 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 <laughs> Dooku. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm not looking for anything in particular. I'm just putting like random shit on them just to fill materia slots and level some stuff up. I worry about what we need when we get into uh Power up. Yeah, to work. When we get into like boss fights and stuff. For now it's just slap shit on, you know, empty slots to build up shit. Standard encounters are uh, non-thinky. What else can we throw on Barrett for shits and giggles? Do I have two HP absorb on Cloud? That's hilarious. Uh, I think there's fourteen. I think there's fourteen. We're we're clo we're getting close to the end i mean we're probably going to get hung up on stuff and we still need to do uh some coliseum fights and some fights for chadley but yeah there's there's 14 i believe throw AT boost on for the sake of throwing ATB boost on. Why not? You think you can beat it before Booba Blade? When does that come out? I don't know. It's a really long game, dude. It took me... I don't... I haven't seen anybody else. The only other person I've watched a bit of playing is Kaino Michi. And I've only seen a bit of her playing through, and she's at, like... 120 hours or so and she's at chapter 12 it took me about 170 to get through the entirety of the game but i did like a lot of mindless exploration and then moments like this where we just didn't really do anything and i'm just like talking to you guys there was a lot of downtime you know but um i don't know like maybe uh 150 or so hours would seem to be about right. You're a chapter... You said you're a chapter 6. You just start chapter 6. I mean, it gets harder and things take longer. And uh, 
especially if you're doing, you know, you said you want to clear out all the side content before you continue to move on. That's really what takes a lot of time is like wandering around and exploring, finding all that sign content. And it also depends on like how much fighting and stuff you're doing as well. What point are you in chapter six? So you got uh, you got to Costa del Sol then, right? Anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of my wet here. I don't know. This ski dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning? Stay alert. You just got control of Tifa and Aerith. I think chapter six goes up to Mount Corel. I think that's chapter six. And you haven't really been out of Costa del Sol yet, right? Yeah, the, the, you're, you're, you're in like the mini game portion of it. You get out of that and then you get like a nice a nice chunk of area to explore before you like finish up the chapter. You still got you still got uh, you still got like a chunky bit of chapter six left. You made a Orlando blooming onion in the air fryer. Oh, you made a blooming onion. That's cool. How did it turn out? The home of the Gi lies beyond. Earth dies. Now -uh. let us begin our journey. Prove it. It's not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> uh uh, she ain't die. I closed my eyes and put my fingers in my ears and did this. Blah 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 blah. blah. And if I don't see it, it doesn't happen. Object permanence, motherfuckers. Object permanence. Stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Ignorance. Ignorance. It's not really object permanence. It's ignorance. It didn't happen. I didn't see it. it. Didn't happen. You need a bit more seasoning in the flour, Panko. Did you dip it in it anything? Like, did you make like a batter? I'm assuming you made a batter, right? Uh, I'm gonna hurl. Maybe try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I wanna move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them. By lineage alone. How that's supposed to me of their history that has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. Yeah, his hipster voice is whack. You died to grow dig dig a dig in the flower. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. Tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Hmm. That 
next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single bullet. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. Touch wieners. I don't like Red's voice either, man. I'm not a... I'm not a fan. Your daughter used ranch. You made a spicy dip with me. Just delete Willy. Delete Willy. Ketchup, mayonnaise, sour cream, and ketchup. Oh. Oh. You're a monster. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. W sauce, Worcestershire, I'm assuming. Horseradish, cayenne, and pepper. Most of that sounds okay. Sour cream and ketchup does not sound great. Some garlic powder. Uh, is it thousand? Is it thousand island dressing? That's mayonnaise and ketchup just combined together. Is that it? And relish. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> so vile. That is not a salad dressing. You know, I love ketchup. I put ketchup on fucking everything. I'm not putting ketchup on salad, man. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Even I got my limits. Even I got my limits. I put ketchup on my ketchup. Not on salad, man. So, no, not on salad. Mako poisonings done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. If he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through ten Is times that no shit. Are we talking about, about the same cloud? Come on. The guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A zack of all trades? Why? Because one's not enough. Zach of all trades. I hate Zach. Kensington's ketchup. I've tried some more artisanal ketchups. I always come back to Heinz, though. It's just tomatoes and sugar, but it's delicious. It's not good for you. It's bad. There are some there's some good artisanal ones like spicy ketchups and stuff like that. I've had a few. They're solid. They're nice. And they're usually lower on sugar too. Problem is, man, I could get like a giant like gallon of ketchup for like 
I don't know, seven bucks. And then I'll pay $9 for artisanal ketchup. And it's like eight ounces. That's going to last me like two days. <laughs> I don't got time for that. I don't got money for that. Life is short. Live for cheap condiments. Yeah. Yeah. Get a load of this. Okay. Let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the live off pedal lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who'll risk it all. Wait! Don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. Dumb apples. Um, I mean, there's something to be said about, like, cheap things. Sometimes, if you like something, ignorance is bliss, you know? If you enjoy something, you should just enjoy it. Not worry about, is there, like, a fancy version of this? Who cares, <laughs> right? You think next time you want to make dip using sour cream and chipotle peppers? Nice. Or use Mexican... Mexican cream? The fuck is Mexican cream? A drizzle. I'm going to give it a drizzle. A little undrizzle. Mexican cream cheese? Fucks Mexican cream cheese. What the fuck's Mexican sour cream? <laughs> I kind of wonder how that rift looks to all the folks topside. I've had like two kinds of sour cream in my life. The sour cream that comes from restaurants, which is Cisco, and the same like store brand I've bought since that I've had since like a little kid. I don't know what the hell it is. Is is in a white it's in a white plastic spur. I don't care about the spurs. Sour cream. I don't care that they beat the Detroit Pistons. Sour cream. Uh I don't. Let's see. Daisy. Yeah. I've been buying Daisy since I was a kid. There's probably better sour cream than Daisy. But I've always bought Daisy. I like Daisy. A dollop of Daisy, yeah. I don't even know that I've ever noticed other sour creams. There's probably other sour creams in there. Like, I bet you, like, Lando Lakes probably makes sour cream. That would make sense. They make a lot of dairy products, so I wouldn't be surprised. It's a higher fat content, but it's more runny. Hmm. Well, I don't think I've I don't think I've ever seen or used. But granted, I've never looked for Mexican sour cream, probably because I didn't know it existed. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time, or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like, a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Do you think Tex-Mex restaurants serve Mexican sour cream? <laughs> I mean, I've I've been to I've been to some restaurants that are that are run by you know Mexican families. They probably just use Cisco. 
everyone uses Cisco or whatever whatever food supplier. Yeah, there's a couple of joints around here that are like Mexican owned. But then again, most places get their food from the same food supply company. I'm not saying all of them. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Cause one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit reactor one. So uh how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about, anyway? <laughs> Good question. So, what do you think's gonna happen to our... Oh, people? yes, protector. I just wish we could have seen their face. Hey, let's they use real face. stuff from Mexico? Well, I mean, California is closer to Mexico than I am. <laughs> It's in a squirt bottle. Hmm. I don't know. I, 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 it's, I'm, I'm just saying it's, it's within the realm of possibility that I've had it and just didn't realize, you know. We have some really nice, like, Tex-Mex places around here, like, good food. Good food. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go camping? Like the guy who only has to worry side. about the how. And doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Cause someone needs you. You and your can do attitude. Then who might that be? Uh you were the guy with the Whoever brought you back, I guess. And assuming there was someone who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Do you just need to go to like a big city and you'll get food? You know, you're probably closer to LA than DC. I don't know what big city you're near. Sacramento? San Francisco? Probably not San Francisco. Sacramento? Sacktown? Yeah, San Francisco, LA, Sacramento, San Jose, San Diego. Oakland, yeah, I mean, all that stuff. I mean, that's all probably closer. I mean, California is a huge state, so it's probably far, but it's uh, it's closer than Washington, D.C. <laughs> on the other side of the country. You just need to go to any, like, really big city, and they almost always have, like, a ton of food. It's going to be expensive, but you'll have you'll have a huge variety of just about everything. We have a nice mixing bowl of not just the city proper, but even in the suburbs around it. Whether it's in Virginia or in Maryland, there's there's a huge wide variety of different foods that you can get. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, you could get just about anything. Just about. There is there is a restaurant. It's that's one of the nice things about living, you know, in a in a city area it's expensive as shit but oh my god man the other day i went i went and parked and it was three dollars an hour it was three fucking dollars an hour like, what is this shit three dollars like there's just empty parking spot this is just free money it's just free money paying for parking is just free money like what are you maintaining like every like 30 years you repave a shitty lot dude that that lot is so fucked up like what are you doing with all that money not paving anything not maintaining it this is just free money three dollars a fucking hour man jesus christ man. <laughs> yeah uh-huh And just spend that money. Just spend all that money on building a new stadium. That's what. That's what we should spend all that money on. You take that money in, and then you build a new stadium. 
I mean, it was for the University of Maryland, but still, man, it's absurd. Indian Turkish restaurants serve you the big dinner platter you share with everybody. There's a lot of uh, family platter restaurants. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Commandante Perez. Welcome on in. Fixed your PC chair, what'd you do? Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. Here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Now no, I'm pretty sure he's an idiot. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? You gotta grab hope by the balls and never let go, no matter how much it struggles. Oh, Zach. Zach's a moron. Biggs is fine. Zach is just a moron. If someone said that shit to me and he was trying to like buck me up, I'd be like, dude, just shut the fuck up. Just shut, shut up, shut up. Go away, go, go away. You know, do like an ostrich and then just stick your head into the sand, please, please. You made me feel worse. You literally made me feel worse. Sag. It's RPG stuff. It is RPG stuff. It's also Zack stuff. I don't like Zack. <laughs> I don't like Zack. I don't like Zack. Zack's a turd. <laughs> and he should be dead. Where's the have Zack commit seppuku button? Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh, Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? No. Oh, uh, sorry, forgot to ask. Aww. Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. 
We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. I don't necessarily think Zack's a bad guy, but I do think he's like dumber than a sack of potatoes. I think he means well. It's me. The wind, that was you, wasn't it? Definitely. Hello in there. Dude, I love this dude's voice. Can Shadow Man be in more stuff so we can just listen to his, like, sultry, baritone, raspy voice? Like, I, I just wanted to just talk to me, bro. Yuffie drunk. Yuffie's fine. She's just a dumb kid, you know. She's she's super naive too. She's very naive too. This is really like as far as we can tell like her first time outside of like being in Wutai. So she's she her the the world is kind of like opening up to her and you know, her eyes are opening up and all that. She's just she's just a kid, you know. Zack's supposed to be an adult. Zack's definitely naive, but no, I still think he's kind of stupid, too. There's a bit of naivety, sure, but there's also, like, I don't know, man. He just seems like a sack of rocks. There's something rattle around in there. There's something. There's something, but, you know. A lot of it's hot air. I think Yuffie's fine. I like her and Barrett's relationship. You know, you kind of have this, like, father-daughter thing going on with the two of them. It's it's amusing. Like, when you're going up Mount Corel, and Barrett's like, Ask for permission before you do anything. And she's just like, Okay, can I breathe? Can I walk? Can I think? Like, it's, it's very much like a father-daughter thing. It's adorable. I like that. But, yeah, I mean, she's just, she's there for comic relief, you know? Yuffie's very much comic relief. You don't take her seriously. Like, everyone ignores her. Which is funny. But if you're, if you're also talking about, like, in-game, like, how does she control and all that, she's okay. I think she can use some improvements, too. I think she needs some slightly... I know I know that she's, she's broken when you, like, team her with Aerith. You guys were telling me that if you're, like, using, what is it, the ATB thing in Brumal form. I think that she needs some, like, slightly better attack stuff. But I, I do I do like I do like using Yuffie. She's fun to use. The the characters that move around faster and have nice movement and mobility, they're a lot more fun to use than say like Barret or Aerith, which are kind of like statues. Like Barret's Barret's there is a tank. Aerith isn't a tank though. 
Aerith, Aerith is not is not a tank. I think if Bear, if Aerith controlled a little bit better, like she had slightly better movement, I think she would be a lot more fun to use. She has some very useful abilities, very useful, but she's just not that fun to control. Yeah, there's nothing here. I don't think we should have anything that we can upgrade. Yeah, we haven't gotten anything recently, so. Yeah, Yuffie's fine. Most of your most of your characters are fine. Despite the fact that I complain about Red 13's voice, I still like his character. I just wish that I just wish that they did one of two things. They introduced him and just had him talk like a kid from the outset. Nope, that's that's the only thing. That's the only thing. Or maybe gave you a choice. Like, you could choose, like, you know when you when you get to Cosmo Canyon and you learn that uh, Red 13's name is Nanaki, you get this, like, choice. You can keep him Red 13 or you can rename him to Nanaki. They let you do it there. I know that you can rename your characters at any time, but, you know, they give you the option there. It would have been nice if they gave us the option to, like, choose adult Nanaki or child Nanaki. Because I would have not chosen child Nanaki. That voice is like nails on a chalkboard to me, man. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I would have been fine with it if it was the only voice that they gave you. If they were like, yep, this is how he talks. I'd been like, oh, okay, sure. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, I would have been, like, slightly annoyed. But, you know, he sounds like a kid. So, all right, cool. Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome. Forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. to the planet and so she rejects them because you have to come from the life stream to return to it which means these dudes can't die right <laughs> they're invincible i'm not sure that's something to celebrate being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death as if you know anything about dying uh, i mean are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. Goofy Yuffie. It rhymes, so you know it's true. Smash. Smash? Smash. No? Oh, right. You gotta wait. Yeah, you just use that. I need to block. Oh, I thought there was more to...
That didn't go well. <laughs> that didn't go well. Flex your attacks. Bring it home. You're up. My turn. You're dead. You know, I don't like this gentleman. Any last words? There we go. That's how it was supposed to go the first time, and it didn't. The game cheated. You all saw it and turned me to stone, cheating in this game. It was our fate to be spurned by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our foe and to salvation. With materia, you mean? You don't know about no damn materia. Stupid ghosts. What's a ghost know? Nothing. You dirty cheater. What was that attack? What the hell? Reign of death? What the hell? I don't know who's hitting me, but I don't like it. I don't even know I don't even know what happened. I was just holding block down. <laughs> Ooh, man, this dirty, this dirty pervert. Holy shit, man. Stay still so I can smash your face, man. Every time he, like, rolls away from me. This sucks. We keep getting hit by other enemies. Oh, 
Alright, now I can actually handle this like a normal person. I wanted to heal with Barrett, but I guess that's okay. I just needed to be a little bit more patient there. Block. They they focused on Cloud, so I just needed to block and not take 4,000 damage from them. And then you win. Like, I needed to hit him with the good stuff, and they weren't letting me hit him with the good stuff. He kept running away. What a coward. Don't run away. Let me bash your face, please. Our ultimate salvation is cessation. It is nothingness. Our wish is not to exist, but rather to no longer exist. Ultimate salvation is nothingness? Okay. In the purest of materia, we place our hope and faith. y'all but i got a sinking feeling i think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here it's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death and if the planet won't let them have it well who's to say they won't let the planet have it save uh, me sure don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Just a dead end there. Okay. That's where we came from. I know where I'm going. I do not. 
the star we called home began. Oh, where's the archer? Until that last subsumed by your own. The earth shook. Piece of shit. Oil, skies shattered and time You of my people survived. Just stay still. Okay, ow. Well, I would have blocked the arrows if the other guy didn't hit me. I didn't realize Cloud's health was so low. Fuck me. Oh good, it's one of those enemies where you just can never hit it. That's great. Alright, where the hell is the sorcerer? At least two of them? Why did he get to shoot 40 times? <laughs> oh my god! Good to go. You're up. I got Get to oh, I thought I was in charge of Tifa. I was like, that's not Tifa. What the hell is happening? I got this. It's on you. And those sorcerers are dicks. That's um, those aren't fun. Those go right up there as some of my least favorite enemies, along with, you know, the, uh, the, like, jellyfish. It's not fun to fight. The, the enemies that, like, crawl underground and, like, shoot out, like, the, the sandfish things. Yeah, those are... Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so, our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release.
from the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. Hmm. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. Huh? Mm. Alas, it appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Uh, I guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. He said we've been discovered. Who discovered us? And why did they warp us back here? I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Do they explain that one? Every time I'm like, they never explain it, they always end up explaining it. What what discovered us? Good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. What if I don't want to go that way, sir? <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're going to give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth, I mean, did no one else sense him? No. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Oh, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my materia! So, Keith said, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, I, uh, 
I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. The terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. It's so bright. Don't look at it. No, stop making me look at it. I want to look at it. Evil. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... What did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more... practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh... The village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Should we? Should we? Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Uh, verily, sir. Verily. Nanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nibu. I'm... Nibu. I'm... Nibu. Ain't that... Artifa and I grew up. Oh! Of course! Nibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. Alright, so we got some like side quests and stuff we can do now, right?
Looks like we can do four of them, maybe. Oh, we're still doing her bonds of trust thing. I forgot that we were doing that. <laughs> we did one of them and then just abandoned it. Good job, meatball. We got to finish that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Where are we going? Where's the, yeah, that's what we want is right there. So where's the guy that we can warp from? Here we go. Blessings of the planet be yes, yes, blessy, blessy, blessy. You in need of guidance? Uh, you got a, you got a ficus. You got any ficuses? It's the desert, so you're probably don't, but you got a ficus. We got two Sky Watchers and fellow Bugenhagen. I think I remember these. You told us to leave them be. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? When we had the chance. There's no point limiting choices made long ago. This was the one where we had to like take pictures and stuff, right? Eek drawers. Now that such ill omen. Excuse me, is something wrong? Ah, you again. Nanaki's companions, yes? Forgive me. I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar. One of the canyon's mentors. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the veil. Ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past. But always has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find them. If you are serious, I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot, though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Blessies. All right. I remember that one being a little annoying, but not too bad. Are you in need of guidance? Uh. I think yeah, observatory is what we want here now, right? Rolled boogies. Boogie doogie. For field work. I haven't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But where? Field work? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. Well, <laughs> treating me like I'm some invalid? I am the very picture of health. Ooh. 
<laughs> See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should take you up on the offer while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Now, lay it on us. <laughs> In truth, something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point. But life springs are mutable. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the survey team has reported. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. There, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do. I don't recall it being too bad trying to, like, find those locations. The hidden locations. All right, um... Oh. We've got a bunch of things to do, don't we? We nearby where she is? We are indeed. Will you now, you feet? I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back and then we'll do these uh, couple of mini games here. That did not mute anything. Get some wilders in me, though. Oh man! Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I just before a stream, I just filled it up with cold water. Holy crap! That is uh, that's cold. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. All right. I think we just need to beat the uh the uh the score the low score we just need 3600 i think 
I think I can manage that. Maybe? I don't remember this stuff at all. I remember doing it. I'm just saying, like, I don't... I don't remember how, please. Supposed to do it. Where are we going? Oh, is enabled? Yo, turn that shit off. I got an extra 500 there at the end. Cool. Well, that's good enough. We don't need to get high score. As long as we beat the... I don't know why... Not bad, not bad. I mean, we could have done way better. But that'll do. You can't just force a chocobo to do what you want. You should have established a bond with Apony before heading out. You've got to be on the same page when you're running a course. Be completely in sync. You don't say. Then why don't you... A real jockey, show us how it's done. I can't believe you people. I'm going home. And Chocobo was like, oh, Yup. Yup, yup. Certainly backfired. Yeah, yeah. No need to rub it in. Come on, let's catch up with her. Mom! Alright, and the last one's right there. This is by the ranch. Rancho the Cucamonga. Apony, what are you doing? Why are you still following me? You know I can't ride you anymore. Apony. I'm sorry, but I can't. I just can't. Says who? You just watch. I'm gonna prove to you that there's no other bird that can fly like Apony. I will. Yeah, Yuffie just doesn't understand. She's so naive. We need to be 4,800. I remember this one being pretty tough. Hey, I timed it right. Hell yeah. I missed it! Okay, I flew under that. Whatever. Yeah, that should do it. You see me? I aced it. And it's all thanks to this chocobo, Apony, the best of the best. Don't you think I know that? There's something on your mind. Just say it. 
the day I fell, I just... I got overconfident. Figured I had the race in the bag. I started thinking about all the ways I was going to spend the prize money. I wasn't focused. But when I was rounding the final corner, Apony and I, we got out of sync. Before I knew it, I was in the dirt. Apony jumped in front to try and protect me. And because of that, she got herself hurt. So I... I just can't get back in the saddle. I can't. What if I hurt her again? I never forgive myself. You're up, Mr. Merc. Put those chocobo interpreting skills to work. Huh? It was a terrible accident. But we learned from that experience and can grow as chocobo and rider and strive to not repeat past mistakes. Once we've healed, Shani, let's race together again. You got that? Apony. shape. Until then, mind looking after her for me? Uh, you serious? Well, yeah. She still needs exercise, and I won't be able to take her out for a while. I feel better knowing she's in the hands of a rider I can trust. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you worry, Mom. I promise I won't give up. Not again. <sighs> That's all I wanted to hear. Be warned, when I'm healed up, you're going down. Downtown. <laughs> Bring it on. And then you gotta call her a sucker. Bring it on, sucker. Got him. All right, uh... I think the scorpion thing is over here. Me thinks. These things could, uh, they could probably kill me. I recall them being a little tough. This guy could, this guy could beat us up real good, like. What are we looking for? Dealing enough damage with ice magic attacks will pressure him. Or uh, with fire damage to leave him open. Okay, so ice. Take me. Yeah, Do you have any ice? She does. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think we're fine doing this. You turd. I don't know why I switched characters there. We didn't need to. Gotcha. You're dead. Oh, he did the double turn. Sorry, should have paid more attention. Let 
and when I say like combat needs improvements, I mean hitboxes and shit. And shit. The hell was that hitbox? <laughs> I was nowhere near that. Eighty percent accuracy. Okay. Oh, the picture. Right. How do I get out of this? Stop it. Quit. Down. Okay. Is it not going to do anything here? Does this do nothing? It says 100%. It's a liar. I didn't mean to take a picture. Did you even look at the photos they gave us? No. I didn't mean to do that. My finger slipped. Yup. Well, well. Maybe you ought to add photographer to your resume. <laughs> Let's look for other spots. Maybe you ought to add photographer to your resume. What? <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's walk and talk. We gotta rest. Cushion up. I got only 38 cushions. I'm really surprised that this restores MP. I'm not opposed to it, I just find it weird. All right. I don't know where I am or how we're going to get over to where we want to go. Let's ride chocobos. We can avoid fighting. Let's avoid fighting. Ow. I think I remember where this is. Here we go. Except for this guy, and he doesn't look happy. Okay. Gotcha. On you. Bring it home. All set. Bring it. Give him your 
And she's nowhere near it. Like, what are these hitboxes sometimes, man? Lies. You're up. Hang back. Take me. Guess it's my turn. I'm counting on you. I don't agree with that. <laughs> God damn it. We still got a job. I can still Oops. We win! Yay. There it is. Hurry, Cloud, get the camera. I took pictures of Earth. Great job. Great job. Uh, we need to quit. I think and then like move over this way. Shooting star. Okay, two down. Just one more left. Let's go. Let's -a go. Is this one? Nice. All right, let's heal everyone up, though. Well, who we can. Red have healing? No. Man, ain't nobody got heals. That's fine. We can use Barrett. He can't heal anymore. He's got no more magic. I broke it. Well, this would just have to be enough. Can still do fire. Look at that. That's so rude.
Take it off, okay? My turn. Don't overdo it. That's nonsense. It did not go well, did it? I thought we were gonna pressure it there with Yuffie, Yuffie Tifa's magic and we just got like crapped on, man. Where the hell are we? Where's the fight? Why did they put me down there? Uh, right here, please. See what hit me there. Keep it together. You got this. Let me get it. Watch yourself. My turn. Now. Gotcha. That's it. You're dead. Um deal with that. Yes, it's mine. You're up. Okay, let's go. That did not do what I thought it was gonna do. Freeze! Down. I got this. Gotcha. You on, dirty fucking on. cheater. Sorry, you should have paid more attention. Everything was hard. Till it wasn't. It is sidestepped me when I dodged. <laughs> Easy baby game. <laughs> Whoa. I know you snuck a shot of me earlier. Nothing sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, 
Let's get a selfie together, okay? Oh. Come here. <laughs> oh, perfect. Aerith. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Let's take the photo and go. Sure. Sounds good. Remember when we fought a mech scorpion? We fought a mech scorpion win! You lie. Win. I didn't fight a mech scorpion. Probably not a good spot to be in, huh? Beginning of remake? Oh, yeah, those are scorpions, aren't they? Yeah. Huh? I know. I do remember that thing kicked my ass. It freaking cheated like the cheater that it is, damn cheater. Okay, we gotta find um I think it's somewhere over there. We gotta rest though. We gotta rest. But I think I know where it is. Not really. I forgot. I was like mech scorpion. I don't remember no stupid mech scorpion. No, there is. There are totes my goats is. That thing was tough. Oh. It's not over here. That's like down here. Look in there. Choke bro. There it is. Wait, there's a gate. How are we supposed to get past it? Or is there another entrance? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, forgive me. You'll need a key. It slipped my mind. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at home. There's no need to make such a fuss. I simply wish to see this with my own eyes. It would appear this spring has all but withered. You have the Mako meter. Yeah. Good. This thing isn't picking up much. Hmm. I see. But it's still too soon to draw any conclusions. 
Let's try another location, shall we? We may yet get encouraging results. Go on ahead. I will catch up to you when I am ready. Do why does he get to fly around? I want to fly around. Is Root uh, over here? Chocobo. Okay. That wasn't correct. Why has it got to be vibrating? Can we not vibrate? It makes it very hard to see game. Y'all need to fix this square. Y'all need to fix this. This atrocious. This is truly bad. Um... Is down in here, right? You think the chocobo is doing that? Nah, it's not the chocobo. Cloud's got Parkinson's. Weakness? It's ice? Fuck me. Okay, let's this let's start this one again, because that didn't go well. Is it just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Why, yes, we have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. Is all that sol soldier cellular degradation? That's what it is. Breaking cloud. Soldier. That's the thing. Uh somewhere around there, right?
This is not it? It is like right here. How could this not be it? It wouldn't be a maybe it's above. I don't think it is. I honestly don't remember where this one is. Did I do it again? Did I just like completely ignore the dancing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm so absorbed inside riding around my adorable chocobo that I don't even acknowledge the raid. Great streaming streamer. Great streaming. Kaino Michi, thank you so much for that raid. I really appreciate that, homie. Let me give you a shout out. If you don't follow her, you should. She's an awesome streamer. Um, welcome on in everyone and thank you so much for bringing your people over to my people. I really appreciate that I hope you had a great time playing some Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Did you get through Rufus? Welcome on in pumpkin hats Kabito Jack welcome on in. I hope you guys had a great time Hanging out with Kaino Michi and uh, if you're new here. Hi, I'm serial killer and we're playing through Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth ourselves We're going through hard mode hair washing day height yeah, you get to let the bald hang out. Okay, all right. We look like wild homeless people now. Wild, wild. I ride the rails with my, with my stick and bindle. With my stick and bindle. There we go. All right, we're looking, we're looking a little crazy. This is my best Jason Momoa impersonation, but just imagine Jason Momoa weighed like 200 less pounds. <laughs> and was white. And not as handsome. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, but uh, we we just beat uh, Ginatak. Ginatak is really hard on hard mode. <laughs> he's, he's 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 really hard. He is he is really hard. He is no joke difficult. No joke difficult. I miss someone here. KB Falcon, welcome on in. Hope you guys had fun. We're all about rebirthing in here, big fans. You do not want to hear the stories of the rebirthing. It's gross. We saw a quarterback playing NPC in Rebirth today. That looks like that. Right, quarterback. <laughs> I'm calling a quarterback. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Queen's blood. Oh. You know what the problem with acronyms is? Are the problems with acronyms is are everything's an acronym. Everything's a goddamn acronym. There's no easy way. There, honestly, man, I looked at that and I was like, quarterback. Got it. Perfect. What? <laughs> Made sense to me. Made sense. You're right. Queen's blood. That's it. The B word would get censored. What's the B word? Dude, I'm the most vulgar person in the world. I say lots of B words. Bermuda, banana, Bahama, bachelor, uh, Bugenhagen, <laughs> barf. Oh, that's nasty. Butt booty. Booty? Blood? No. Nothing, nothing should get you flagged. Nothing should get you flagged. Taking a risk, but apparently Big Sword is a no-no. Big Sword's fine. Big Sword's fine. There, there shouldn't be... Uh, I have... There's like different levels that you can put auto mod on. And auto mod, in its like natural state, flags a lot of stuff. And people were getting annoyed and upset and I was getting annoyed and upset so I just turned it to its lowest level so only like the most offensive of words you know slurs and stuff like that will get picked up 
Which is fine. If somebody says something super offensive, I mean, that's what I'm here for, right? Hit him with the old band donger. <laughs> we're, uh, we're doing some side quests in, uh, what is this? Cosmic Canyon? Your hair looks really good today. Thank you. I use lots of product. Use lots of product. It's good product. It smells funny, though. It's supposed to be coconutty, but it doesn't smell like... It kind of smells like fake pina colada. I had some really good... I had some really good pudding. I know that's a weird thing. I don't like calling hair product pudding. That's nasty. That's not like... People have a problem with moist. I got a problem with calling hair product pudding. That's gross. <laughs> that's, that's straight up gross. Oh, there it is. I found it. Nice. Uh, and I had some, I had some really nice, man, it smelled so good. It smelled so good, man. It was like heaven. And they stopped making it during, uh, during COVID for whatever reason. They just stopped manufacturing it. So it made me sad. So it made me super duper sad. And so I've been, I've been kind of like looking around for other, for other hair product and, I found one, and then I can't find it anymore, so I used the substitute one, which is from the same company, but I'm not a big fan of the, the scent on it. You need, I smell good, don't get me wrong, but I'm just, you know, you gotta find the right smell for you. You gotta find your own personal stank, you know? Do I stream on the weekend? I stream every day but Sunday. I stream every day but Sunday. It's like when you call it lotion lube, it is lube. I always do, dude. I get so, I get so, uh, I get dry, especially in winter time. So I've got lots of like oils and lotions and stuff. Every time I pop out of the shower, I lotion up, you know? You gotta lock in that moisture, that hot, sexy moisture. So you lube up, you lube up. You no, know, you got no ashy elbows, you know? No dry hands. I just, I just have, like, particularly, it's not super dry, it's not like eczema or anything like that, but, it, you know, it's, it just gets bad in the winter. So I just maintain the regimen, like, all year long, just to make sure that I'm nice and soft. Do people, like, shake my hand and they're like, your hands are so soft, and I'm like, it's because of lotion and oils. I do a lot of stuff with my hands. Hands. <laughs> You've never heard that one? You mean the the hair pudding axe man? I need to pop into your stream sometime when you're not streaming. I need to pop in your stream sometime when I'm not streaming. <laughs> That's what I need to do. You guys should follow Kaino Michi though. She's a lot of fun. And follow away. You look like a sandalwood guy. I'm not sure I know what sandalwood smells like. They've got, like, smells that are supposed to be manly for men. Dude, I buy all my, my pro- my, like, I buy all my products in, like, the women's department because that stuff is so much better. Like, men's self-care products are trash compared to women's. So I buy, like, everything in, like, the women's department. Or I guess the women's part of the self-care aisle and stuff. Like, all the men's stuff that's marketed towards men is just trash. It's just trash. And a lot of them have, like, these, like, overly chemically- smells to them i'm not a big fan of them look man i like smelling fruity <laughs> i'm all for it i'm all for it their lotions are better man everything's better everything's better so i'm not sure i've heard of sandalwood i'm not sure you need to be more like me you get so ashy during the winter you just get into a regimen you know it's it's not bad when you when you get into a regimen after you know it just becomes habit so like I've got like a like after I shower I've got like an oil I put on. Is it smells good? It's sesame seed oil. That shit smells fantastic. And then and then I and then I get like the trouble spots with lotion just to lock that in. It's good. It's like a hot sauna wood smell. It's in some candles. I'll have to check it out. I could I could I could I could get a whiff pine tar <laughs> like, like, women get avocado and coconut and men are like here's pine tar fuck is pine tar <laughs> pine trees smell nice i don't know that i want to go around walking and smelling like christmas all the time man i want i don't know that i want to smell like christmas 
think products for women when it comes to self-care is a lot better. They are. They are. They actually are. Now, some some things are, you know, catered towards the male body, but by and large, it's just go for what you you enjoy. You always tell them not to be shy to use products for women. Yeah, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. I don't give a shit. At first, I was a little self-conscious, and then I bought the products, like, more than once, and I'm just like, whatever, man. When you get old, you stop caring if people judge you. <laughs> just like, yeah, whatever. Ooh, whatever. When I first started growing out my hair, I went and hung out with some friends, and they were like, so... It, how do you how do you take care of your hair and i was just like what do you mean and they were like we're going shopping <laughs> i was like tonight is like we've been drinking and it's like one in the morning and there's like they're like there's a cvs i was like i don't want to and they're like oh my god dude they got so excited they got so excited so they introduced me into like at least the hair self-care stuff i had already been doing some other like bodily things but they introduced me to the hair shit and i haven't looked back since then Healthy hair is good, you know. Just patch your skin up with some pine sap. Dude, super glue. <laughs> super glue. That's what you do. That's how... Where is my... I got, I got this. It's purple. This scar right here is purple. Because I glued it up with super glue. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was in the studio doing some work. I may or may not have intentionally cut myself with a razor blade and I was like how the hell am I gonna seal that up and I was like we got some super glue I'm gonna just glue it up I mean they used it in Vietnam man nah man you can use that on your body it's fine it's what super glue was invented for the super glue that they use on human bodies is not the same that you you know buy at Home Depot <laughs> not the same not the same but I did it and I did it it's fine though it probably, there probably would have been less of a scar if, you know, I went and got stitches. You know what? Fuck it. Glue it together. It's fine. <laughs> Used to love the way fresh asphalt smelled. Like, kind of molten. It's got an appealing odor to it. It's, it's got an odor to it. I, I, like, I like it. it but, but not when your skin is melting to the asphalt. That is not an appealing smell. There's one kind of cologne you like, then found out it's perfume version, and the cologne version it doesn't hit the same. I'm not a big fan. That's 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 my. I don't really wear like colognes or anything like that. You know, I use deodorant, but I I'm not a big fan of colognes. The I get like really bad uh, headaches from uh, from like overly powerful scents. And so I'm not a big fan of like perfumes and colognes. I don't I don't really wear those. I got some aftershave every once in a while, you know, when, when I don't have a giant Well, this isn't even a big beard. When I don't have a beard. I got some aftershaves. Alright. Men's men's colognes and stuff, they have a very, very strong chemically smell to them, and I think that's what really gets to me. Got to moisturize all scars so they soften and heal correctly. Yeah, I probably wasn't. This this happened in like college or right after college, and I wasn't really doing that. So, yeah, yeah, probably. It, I probably locked in a lot of dirt and crud. Like I feel like I kind of washed it out, but I was in the middle of like a, a steel studio, and I don't think anything in there could be considered clean. So, <laughs> you know, I splash some water on it and I got, I got, I, I kind of, I try to flush it out and see if there was anything in there. And I was just like, whatever, good enough. Let's just, let's just cover it in super glue. And then, yeah. And I monitored, I didn't get an infection or anything like that. I monitored it. I monitored it. If, if I got like it, I would have gone to the doctor. Probably not. I probably would not. As a as a as a man, I have learned that doctors are for cowards, right? Yeah, fuck it. I'll go to the doctor when I'm dying. No more playing That's that's what we do. Like a true moron. Like a true moron.
Now if I sneeze, I'm like, oh, I should go to the doctor. I could be dying. <laughs> Kind of thing will be self fulfilling though when it's too late, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. Oh, <coughs> but that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels. I did a lot of that when I was younger. Now that I've gotten older, I definitely... I mean, when you're a kid, you feel like you're invincible, you know? Once you get older, hopefully and wiser, <laughs> start to take care of yourself a little bit better. Uh, this one was upside down, right? This one was upside down, so... I think, I think it's on the other side, right? Like, somewhere over here? Because that's, that's where we were. And there's a statue. It's like somewhere... Like, in this general vicinity, right? Maybe kind of, sorta. Let's uh, let's warp over there. Here, Life Spring Survey Four. It's on. Is here. You could just go there. Something isn't right here. Be careful. Who's win? You're dead. I didn't know you could just warp over here. <laughs> Oh, Cloud going back. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine. They cracked open the door. No. Retry battle. Those dirty cheaters. You guys saw it. They cheated. Uh, let's see here if they wanted Blizzard, right? The scumbags! The scumbags! <laughs> no way! Who wins unconscious? Gotta go to bed, have a good rest of your stream. You too, Kaino Michi. Again, thank you so much for that raid. I really appreciate it. It's super duper kind of you. Genuinely, I, I really appreciate it. No more games. You're dead. Don't overdo it. Bring it home. I got it. Come on. Big side up. Pour it on. Take Alright, stop squirting all up on the door. Too easy. Try this. That's it. 
Yeah, here we go. All right. Door squirts are bad. Whispers. Oh, we have been graced by curious guests. Hey, I was wondering, do you believe in fate? That something out there controls our future? Oh, ho, ho. fate is a salve we use to soothe the sting of disappointment. We are the masters of our lives, Nanaki. Would you not agree, Cloud? Yeah, sure. Were the other life springs on the map too? Did I not have to <laughs> hunt them down? Hmm. This is an unprecedented level of activity. Now there's proof that the flow of the life stream has shifted in some manner or another. The question is, was this shift natural? Or was it the product of an external force? A question for another time. One location remains. I want to look at the map again. Felt like they didn't, but maybe they did? I don't know if that just... I mean, we did this before. Maybe they did and I just didn't realize. And maybe I was just looking in the wrong spot. I'm... For two grand? You got two grand? Power up. Is you Sharon, though? Uh. Sharing is caring. All right, right. Is by the uh, Chocobo. Chocobo. M -m Mogul bow. Mogul bow. Moogle bow. I don't remember where the Moogles are. I remember seeing this one. It was like in the hills. Where the Moogles is at? Moogle hut. It's got to be down over here, right? Because it was by... Something like that. Is this the Moogle? Says the Moogle. Actually, let's go over to the Moogle. I wanted to see if there was anything, like, material-wise that we could buy from the Moogles. We haven't been here since I started hard up. Yeah, I don't got Jack. It's kind of hoping they would have something worthwhile to buy. Where the hell do you get, like speed materia from then <laughs> just it doesn't exist is there a shop that sells them is there a secret shop that we don't remember there's nothing in the golden saucer like can i get more elemental can i get more speed can i get more strength i'm kind of surprised that there isn't more i'm, I'm genuinely a little it may be, it may be perturbed. I might be perturbed. I just wanted to say the word perturb because it just sounds funny. Perturb. Weird. I don't see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. Fallow. Your mom's fallow. Isn't fallow like something to do with bone? Fallow. Plowed and harrowed, but left unsown for a period in order to restore its fertility. 
as part of a crop rotation or to avoid surplus production of a period of time characterized by inaction. Not pregnant. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm not pregnant. I'm fallow. Hello friends, I'm feeling a bit fallow today. Yeah, not pregnant. Of a... Of a sow. Fallow periods. That's probably what they're referring to, because this does not look like a farm. <laughs> it's just inactive, unproductive. Been unproductive for a long time. That makes sense. Tallow? Is that what I was thinking of? Tallow? It sounds like fallow. Rendered form of beef. There you go. Okay, so it's 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 fat. Rendered fat tallow. That's what I was thinking of. He said fallow and my brain thought tallow. Not the same thing, though they sound very similar. Cloud, the Markometer, if you would. Oh, my word. I thought it was like bone meal. We'll it's just rendered fat. Or, oh. Rendered meat. This is nice. We're always learning here. We're always learning. Not well, and I just I just constantly prove my ignorance. But see, you become less ignorant through uh, knowledge. Maybe. Okay, they're all attacking Tiva. Now is probably a good time to bring Cloud back. I don't know what these guys are weak to, would I? Ice. Just like everything else I've been. Well, we're not gonna... We're not gonna take advantage of that, because... I'm no... I'm no coward. I did not want to do that. Boogies! I am getting too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. Learning is for nerds. Nerd! Nerd! Thanks, Kabito. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? Oh! <laughs> oh. Now, who could this be? Why, it's from a 
watchmen in town. How odd. Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the veil. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your aid? <laughs> no. Nope. Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. It, when old people talk, do does anyone else just kind of like zone out? Hey, <laughs> hey. Like, like, I know you're saying things, but I don't care. <laughs> Just, I see your mouth moving, but I'm not getting anything. <laughs> um, what is a, a kabuto? Is that Japanese? I think I've heard the word kabuto. Don't know that I've heard. Kabito. Though I wouldn't be able to tell you what Kabuto is. Asmo can you? Is this is this how we just get in like the main entrance? Maybe Kabuto was a word. Who's the devil guy in Dragon Ball Z? When, <laughs> when, when, when Boo comes, comes into the scene. That, that guy, Kabuto. <laughs> who's, who's he? One of, one of the, one of Bobbity's, one of Bobbity's henchmen. Well, I guess it's Boo's henchmen. I don't know. Uh, DBZ Red Devil guy what's that guy's name Debura. not even close <laughs> not even close what the hell is kabuto it's a pokemon <laughs> well i don't know what that is then there's a Kabuto in Naruto? I've seen that. Kabuto. Oh. That would make sense. I've seen Naruto. I've seen Naruto Kabuto. That makes sense. Now. now I don't know about Pokemons. I do know about Naruto's. Oh, good. Nanaki. We just got word from the survey team that they spotted the Gi right outside of town. Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happened to be near the elevator, so they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there. I found it kind of weird that they turned Orochimaru into the comic relief. <laughs> a little weird. Uh, how do we get there? How do I turn? Whatever. Where are we going? Here? Uh, can I like jump down there somehow? This is pretty high up. I don't think they're going to let me jump down. Oh yeah, they are. Hell yeah. That'll make life easy. Dude, when did banners become walls? I can't see down. I don't know where I'm going. This is perfect. Oh, I remember this. This is that nerd with a car, right? This, uh... That's the place. Come on. This is... 
No, this isn't it. This is something else. This isn't GJ. I don't think it's him, right? No. It's a cart. It's not a people. People aren't carts. Skate? What do we got here? Alright, so these are still the same thing. They're, they're not like unique or anything. They've got just stronger stronger attacks, huh? The only problem with I love I love that attack, man, but sometimes you just go under the enemies. That's not good. What now? We follow. Chocobo, where'd you go? Y'all de-summoned my chocobo? Alright, I don't know where we're going anymore. They need to work on the chocobos too, man. Like that chocobo was like, mm, nah, that was an inch higher than what I'm normally walking on. I'm just stop and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get some nasty recoil. Get you some whiplash. And chocobo need to go over uneven ground a little bit better than that, huh? Just a smidgen. He turned his back on me. Coward. Deal with that. Yeah, I'm counting I on you. Okay, this fine. I'm a blizzara this nerd. I got both of them. Let's finish this. Hell yeah. Nice. Such vessels cannot contain our feeling. Oh, what materia was that? Whatever. Um one thing that we found out I guess it was like maybe about halfway through my playthrough here is that in in hard mode, generally speaking, you go to a bench, you don't get HP back, but when you go to the, the chocobo rest stations here and you use a cushion, you actually do get your magic back. Which is wild. I would have not assumed that you would have. Normally in hard mode, you can't recover your your magic. You just have to wait for a chapter to end and they just go, here's everything back. Or whatever story segment gives you your, your magic back. So you have very limited magic, but when you're exploring the overworld, they're like, here, yeah, have it. Have it. It's, you can't use items, which is why I was surprised. Like, I did not think that they were going to let me... Uh, oh! God! Okay, perfect. Good job, Tifa. You did an amazing job there. Anybody else pressured here? No, we just got the one of them. Just getting Shit. Be right there. Fuck on this. Uh. I was nowhere near that guy. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, we could take Barrier off of Barrett and maybe give him some ice here, so he can help out. And um, guess I don't need Dark Side. I don't. I don't really plan. I was just leveling that up. Could be good. 
could be good. I don't think we need it. I got two HP absorbs equipped. We probably don't need that here. Let's dump that one. Let's move uh, you over here. And let's try who has elemental here. You win. We'll put we'll put ice on cloud too. I have him. Smackery the daiquiri. Barrett and oh I bet you I bet you he's got it on an AP AP up Okay, so Cloud has ice, Barrett has ice. Oh, can we get Magnify in here? Healing? Healing's for cowards. <laughs> Where's Magnify? Maybe we should put Magnify on Tifa. Alright. We got two empty materia slots here, so what are we going to fill these holes with? Got to fill these holes. All right, you can have fire, perfect. That's exactly what we need to level up there. It's ideal for this situation. Got so many lightning maxed out, she does not need to do that. Yeah, take a time, sure. Oh, that already has two stars. Dude. <laughs> I don't know why I still have the up next uh list. <laughs> I have I've had that up since I first started streaming back in like twenty eighteen. <laughs> I have not played a single game from that. <laughs> it's been up there for like six years now and I have not done a single one from it. I, I keep forgetting that it's there. I want to delete it. Like I keep forgetting that it's there. I do need to play Police Knots. I do need to play it. I have the the PlayStation and the Saturn version of the game. I have both. And uh, I think one of them's over here. This is the PlayStation version. I don't, I don't know where I put the. I don't know where I put the Saturn version. I'm not sure where I put that. I was like cleaning some stuff and I moved some shit around in here and I, I don't remember where I where I put. It. I usually keep all my game stuff together. I'm not sure where it's. It's not on the shelf. So but I got the uh, the the uh, PlayStation version. It's pretty cool. I can't read Japanese though. Though there is some English on the back. That's neat. It's got some cool stuff in there. The only thing is even got like it's it's totally it's totally complete too. It's got a manual and everything. That's dope. I bought this I bought this at like a a record and tape store on a college campus a long time ago. I got it for like five bucks or something like that. Years and years ago. I mean this would have been back in like two thousand and one or two or something like that like a really long time ago did you get them for collector's purposes i don't know why I, well, I picked up i picked this up i picked this up because i looked at it and i went that looks fucking cool i just i just looked at the cover and i was like yo anime hell yeah that looks neat and i think i knew that uh 
Kojima had worked on this. So I think that's why I picked it up. Because there's like references in Metal Gear to police knots, and I think that's why I knew of it. And I was like, oh shit, I think I know what that is. I was like, wow, I had no idea that this was released in America. And then I like picked up the the box and I was like, oh, that's in Japanese. It wasn't. I was like, screw it, you know, it was like, hey, maybe it wasn't five bucks, maybe it was like ten bucks or something like that, but it wasn't expensive. And I was like, screw it, I'll check it out. And then I popped it into my PlayStation and and I was like, this all in Japanese. I can't play this. I didn't know that. I don't think I knew that it was like a adventure game. So I, I think I think I was just like, yeah, I don't think I can play this. I tried. I tried. I did not get very far. Like the first thing you do is you're like clicking on things. And I was like, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing. He's saying shit and he's explaining stuff. And I'm like, yup, nope, I don't understand this. I, I think you could just get away with clicking on random shit in that game, but I think it would be nice to understand it. And then I saw that they were, uh, then I saw that it got translated. I was like, I got to play through that. Cool. And then I never, I never touched it. I never touched it. It just sat there. And then I saw that they did the, the, the Saturn version and the Saturn version is supposed to be a bit more of a complete version. And I was like, screw it. You know what? I'll pick up the Saturn version too. I didn't even know there was a Saturn version. And the Saturn version has like a nice little slip cover to it, which is kind of cool. I don't know why I bought them. I don't know, just just because I really I really don't know why I picked them up. I really don't know why. I got to go use the bathroom. I will be I'll be right back. I honestly don't know why I picked them up. I just I know why I picked that up because it was just like, "Hey, it's in front of me. Cool. I'll get that." I don't know why I picked up the Saturn one. I'm not a collector. I'm not. I am not a collector. I buy games to play them. That's what I do. I've got some expensive games, but just because I bought them when I was younger, you know, not because I went and sought them out for, you know, sitting on a shelf. I, I bought that. Like my collection is just games that I've wanted to play. I, mean, I don't think I've ever gone out of the way and been like, yes, I've always wanted to own that and just put it on my shelf and just have it sit there. I mean, that's what all my games do. But it was. It's never. It's not with a collector's mindset. It was with you know. I bought this and I've just never sold it kind of thing. Yeah, I got them to play first. Exactly. Exactly. And and now I kind of just like having them. I got I got somewhat of a collector's mentality, but I've, I've never bought games just to like buy games just to have them. It's always with the intention of playing them like, oh, yeah, I always wanted to play that. And I'm not I'm not a I'm not a like purist in any way, like I'll emulate stuff. You know, I have I have zero problem with that. Zero problem. In fact, I usually prefer to emulate things. It just makes things easier. Everything's all in one place. And half the time, you know, things look cleaner. You can put on like a bunch of different things. You've got you've got like fast forward and rewind and save states. It's just so much more convenient to emulate stuff. So either way, I gotta go use the bathroom. I will be right back though.
Okay, so maybe I lied a little bit and I just used the excuse of getting up to go... I, I, apparently I put it in the other room. So I did use the bathroom, but then I went and grabbed the, the Saturn version. So this is what I said. It comes in a slip cover. It's got this neat little slip cover and it's got some like writing and stuff on the back. That's kind of cool. But it comes with like this neat little uh, booklet. It's like a hardcover booklet. This is pretty neat. Again, yeah, I mean, it's got like a lot of... Dude, that's actually... I don't think I've ever opened this stuff up. Dude, I want, I want to crack the spine. It's got some like... Really, that's like lenticular. Uh, I'll... What do you call a shiny Pokemon card? It's shiny. It's nice. I've never really... I've never really opened this up. I don't think I've ever looked at the art in here. But it's got a little art book. It's got some cool stuff in here. Lithograph? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's pretty cool. It's got, like, character... Character drawings, I guess. Right there, it's got some, like, different characters. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah. There's a little, a little art book, I guess. Yeah, it's got, like... Yeah. Them doing shit? I don't know. Guys? This guy has got, like, some different art and stuff going on in there. Yeah, it's... Yeah, 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 like a... Like a cell? Kind of. Kind of. It's like a transparency. I don't think it's exactly like a movie cell. Or a uh, draw... Uh. But yeah, it's a... Like a... Transparency with an image on top of it. I think they're just supposed to be like layered somehow. And it's kind of cool. Yeah, that's... It's too dark. And then the... And then the game... I don't know if this comes... Dude, it's got everything. I don't know that I've even ever looked at this before. It's got the... It's got the instruction manual. Is the, the discs look really cool. Man, Japan got some cool-ass shit. I'm kind of jealous of Japan. The discs actually look really dope. I'm kind of jealous. Screw you, Japan. This wasn't that expensive either. I think this was like... Dude, it's three discs? Damn. The disc looks really cool, man. Japan gets like some really dope shit, man. It's kind of sad that they never uh, brought this over. The Snatcher was dope. I had Snatcher on the uh, on the Sega CD. Oops. Oh yeah, there's really some really nice artwork in here. Makes me kind of sad this was never. Uh, Localized. It's cool though. I mean, I haven't played on my Saturn in years. I might, I might too. Yeah, I had a good time in Snatcher, so I figure I probably would enjoy. Oh, I, I don't know what we're doing here. I was looking at material, wasn't I, for Barrett? Magnify ice, right, 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 all right. Oh, I'm excited to check it out. I just keep forgetting about it. Honestly, I just keep forgetting about it. I think I like try to fire it up in an, in an emulator and I think the only one that was like working was Mednafen. Not a big fan of Mednafen. It's, it's the most bare bones. There really aren't like nice options in that one. It didn't look great on the HD TV that I have, so I was just like, eh. I was like, hey. Maybe, maybe RetroArch. There were a couple of other, like, Saturn emulation really isn't great. Maybe, maybe RetroArch has, like, a, I forget what they call their cores. A decent core on it. The better one. I'll have to check it out. I'd like to play it at some point. Like I said, I heard that the Saturn version is like the more complete version of it, so I would like to play that one. But I mean, whatever. I'll play. I'll play whichever one I can like actually get to run decently enough. Oh, I want Barrett. All right, let's try Blizzard uh, on. Yeah, D. Let's go with the big D. <laughs> you 
<laughs> Don't work. Well, that's why we got Barrett here. Snatcher is really cool. Snatcher is really cool. I liked it a lot. I owned it on the Sega CD. Briefly, though. Briefly, though. Like, I, I bought it at, like, a KB toy store is on clearance. Like, super cheap, and then I got rid of it. I don't know why. Like, I've never... I, I've sold very few games. I sold Chrono Trigger. I sold fucking Snatcher. Like, I never sold shit, and for whatever reason, I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna sell this. I don't think I'm ever gonna play this again. And it was before. It was before it ever got rare. I didn't even know people were like... I, like, sold it at, like, Funko Land for, like, 35 bucks or something like that. Maybe not even that much. There were a couple of, like, more expensive ones. Like, Lunar and Lunar Eternal Blue were always, like, slightly expensive. Popful Mail was actually relatively cheap. I still have Popful Mail. I don't know why I got rid of Snatcher. I was just like, eh, it was fun. Okay. And then, like, a few years later, I played through it on, like, some Sega CD emulator. And I was like, why the fuck did I sell this? I did buy back Chrono Trigger. I did buy back Chrono Trigger. I sold Chrono Trigger to buy the Wu-Tang fighting game. <laughs> I, I sold it to, to buy the Wu-Tang fighting game. And when I sold it, I knew that I knew the clerk there, and he was like, "You sure you want to sell this?" He was like, "They go really quickly." And I think to rub it in, like I picked it up, and I kind of had I kind of had seller's remorse. And while we were talking, a customer came in, and this kid was like, "I want to buy a Super Nintendo," and he was like, "Wow, you're in luck. We just got in this great game, dude." They sold that like I got like 80 bucks for Chrono Trigger, and he sold it for like 150. It was more than the Super Nintendo. <laughs> It was more than the Super Nintendo. And he did it right in front of me to prove a point. And as soon as it left the store, I was like, dude, why the fuck did you do that? And he goes, it's a good game, right? <laughs> you're a dick, you're a dick, you're a dick, you're a dick. I was like, I take back Wu-Tang. I want Chrono Trigger back. <laughs> I want Chrono Trigger. It was like immediate, immediate. It was gone. And I, I just, I felt like shit. And I was like, this Wu-Tang fighting game better be good. It wasn't. Wu-Tang fighting game, not very good. 3D fighting games on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, they're not that good, man. They're not that good. Yeah, you know, that's not true. Bloody Roar is dope as hell, and the Tekken games are pretty fun. Wu-Tang is not, though. <laughs> But it had, it had unreleased Wu-Tang tracks. Well, maybe not unreleased, but new Wu-Tang tracks. I had to hear my Wu. I had to hear my new Wu. Such a Wu fan. You could play four players. You could. I did not know four people that wanted to play Wu-Tang fighting game with me, though. Yeah. Yeah, I regretted that immediately. So, years later, I ended up picking up another copy of Chrono Trigger. But not nearly as much. I think I paid... I think I paid like 80 bucks for it. Maybe 75. So... Nah, it's, that's a lot though. I bought Chrono Trigger at Circuit City at clearance for like 10 or 15 bucks back in the day. Like I saw it sitting in the, in the, in the bin and I saw the art on front of it and I went, that looks cool. And I went, that's a Squaresoft game? Oh hell yeah, I'm buying this. Like I didn't even hesitate. It was on the it was on clearance and I got it so cheap. So I made money back on it, you know. Like I, I made like I don't know 50, 60 bucks back on it, but you know, nice return on my investment, but then I just gave it right back to some random stranger on the internet. 
Remember back when they had unreleased Wu album that someone bought just for themselves? Like maybe, oh yeah, that was um, Martin Shkreli. That piece of shit bought it. Yeah, I forget what that uh, Wu Tang album was called, but yeah, uh, Civil Rings. Civil Rings was uh, the person that actually produced it. The RZA just kind of like oversaw things, and they recorded it in in non like really Wu Tang way. They they recorded verses individually. Normally when Wu Tang gets together and records an album, they do it when everybody can come together. So they work as a group. And this one was was done by not the RZA, it was Civil Rings. And it was it was done like with individual recording sessions. Some of them didn't even know they were recording a Wu Tang album. Some of the members got kind of salty over it too, the way it was handled. They had no idea at first what was happening until after they had done shit. Used to rent two movies and three to four games from Blockbuster, take them back to a dorm room or house. So always look for higher player counts. Yeah. I never, I didn't even have like a player tap for the PlayStation. Multi tap? That's it, multi tap. Oh, kitty! So what happened with that is, so Martin Shkreli ends up, uh, oh, hold on. Let's redo this. I need to put on, like, a sooner or something like that, or some sort of debuff for that. So Martin Shkreli, uh, gets arrested, and he gets his property confiscated by the government. So the government is technically in ownership of the album now, and I don't think that they've done anything with it. They were contemplating on selling it, but they weren't quite sure. There's there's a very complicated contract that came with purchasing the album. And since it was like a seizure, not as in, you know, seizure that, you know, brain issue, but... They, they, they confiscated the, the item when they were taking Shkreli's estate away from him. And so the government is in control of the album now. And like people have been talking. They don't know. I think it's still in limbo. I don't think anyone has bought it or they auctioned it. Oh, did they? Did they finally auction it? I don't know that I've seen anything about it in a while. I haven't, I haven't looked into it. I mean, the last time was like, maybe like a year or so after Shkreli got uh, arrested and uh, sentenced. So, I mean, that would have been like a few years ago. As of then, it hadn't, but maybe it has since then. I haven't looked into it. I mean, this is the first time I'm thinking about it in probably a couple of years, thanks to Kabito. So, yeah. Um, they had snippets and stuff. Someone may have bought it. I wouldn't be surprised if they sold it off. That's a lot of money that, you know, you're sitting on there. Someone will do it. I think they were talk. I think a group of people were talking about trying to buy it. I remember hearing that. Like, they were going to, like, petition them. Like, they got, like, a bunch of people together to, like, group buy it. But I think... I think the contract terms still hold to whomever owns it. So the government could sell it, but I think the contract terms still hold. So they couldn't, it's a really wild contract. It's weird too. I don't know how much of it actually is like legal, but there is some like really crazy things like Bill Murray can buy the album and then release it himself if he wants to. Like there's some really weird like stipulations and stuff in there. I don't know. Yeah, they, there, there are some, like, strong stipulations and stuff in that. Uh, what did I want to do here? I wanted to, like, put on something that would debuff. Do we have something for her, maybe? Oh, she, she's got Asuna? Would that do it? That might not do it. I didn't realize she had that. It might. Dispel? Maybe that's what I want is Dispel. I think that's what I want. Alright, let's put that on. 
The Suna would be for, like, confusion or poison or something. Dispel's what we want, I think. I'm not sure if this is something we can dispel, though. Oh, thought we were in a cutscene. Not a key! Yeah, let's just do that. I got you. This ends here. Let's do this. Probably not good. Yep. Lightning. We did not have, I had like zero, uh, oh shit, this is bad. No, I've done that one too many times. Oh, you live, Tifa, that's important. I think she's dead. Yeah, all right. We still got a job to do. Give them hell. All good. Don't overdo it. What do we got that's like one, right? Nanaki, there's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? About you? Your father. I see. As you wish, son of Seto. What would you like to know? How big was his wiener? This is not an option. Nothing I want to know anything. I, I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. 
He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It might take some time, but I'll do it. Very well. has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. You sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone, if it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia. And we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it. Not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm going to find a way to release them from their suffering. There's got to be an answer out there somewhere. And I'm not going to stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spoken like a true watcher. You heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours and see that you never let them go. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you seek. Dude, we really needed that 12,000 experience. Getting concerned. Okay, so I think that one... That might be the last one that we have to do here. We just have to turn it in, I think. Go back to Caesar. Caesar salad. Creamy Caesar salad dressing. Creamy. Mm. So creamy. Falling stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. Mm -hmm. All three of your photographs are precisely what I require. Yes, these will make a marvelous reference for posterity. Hmm. As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity, we have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely it is. And if we take note of their positioning and connect each with lines, just so. I see it. The pattern. An unprecedented configuration. Hey, what did you wish for? Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just asked the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? Don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. I wished for cake. You can never have enough cake. Wish for cake. Fun Betty cake with extra sprinkles. Because obviously that's the best. Alright, so that doesn't open up till 12. Right, so we're done here. We finally finished everything. Oh! No, no, we are not done. We have, um... We've got the fight to do. What the hell is this? Where? Nebel? Ain't nobody wanna go no Nebel? Where's my... Why you bring me here? Alright. I don't know why they did that. I just hit R2. That was weird. Okay. So, we... I think it's... 
here? This is it? The Wyvern awoke it. Alright, we need to go. We need to go do this. Which we'll probably get our butts kicked for. Uh, how's our health? I don't think we should go into the. Whoops. I don't think we should go into this. <laughs> in this condition. I think that's a. <clears throat> I think that's a bad idea. Let's uh, let's heal here. This is the most cushions I have used ever. <laughs> I've used like four. I used like one in my normal mode playthrough. <laughs> I was like, what does a cushion do? Oh, okay. Never used one again. Alright, well, we don't know what kind of fight this is going to be, so let's just... Oh, right, we're not running into anything. You have to hold down triangle. Tri-hangle. Oh, there's the Jabberwocky. Where's Terry Gilliam? We got here fire. You turn. We can't take too much damage here. Uh, smack him. That's dead. Let's turn this around. I remember what you do during this. Inflicting enough damage while Gorgon Shield's active will both pressure the beast and remove the shield. Right, so we just have to... I was like, I need to get out of there, and I just kind of, just kind of took it on the chin. That wasn't smart. Got some fight left in you. You oh, Tifa got all. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this over. That's okay. I mean, I've got ice on Cloud, which is obviously not ideal. Okay, um... Time to get serious. Let's switch it up. You need me. 
Oh no, Barrett doesn't have. Fuck! I thought he had stop. Okay, well that's not great. I don't know how we pulled that out, but you know, I'll take it. Sometimes we pull things out of our asshole that we don't know. Wait, that's a weird statement. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> oh no! All right, so we can make this uh, Genji earring now. And the last thing that we can make here is the Genji ring. And we need King Zhu. Ooh, 666,000 doll hairs? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, I'm kind of curious. Do all of these give you... If you beat these, do all of these give you a... Uh, a book report? Oh, Clyde's dead. I'm right here. We can just... Okay. I don't think it did, did it? I didn't see that we got a reward. I don't think that we got anything for that. I was looking to see if we got another manual from it. There's like so many missing manuals. I don't know where you get them from. We've got 79 of 112. Like, where the f- There's so many. I just don't know where they're all going to come from. Some of them are coming from side quests. Some of them come from these, like, one intel quests. Oh, it's still so many. It's 32 more? 33. Sorry, 33 more. That's so many. Where are we going to get them? Some of them are going to come from the Coliseum, and I'm assuming some are going to come from Chadley's. It's still so many. We don't get one from each of those. All right. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, go. I think we've done everything we can in this region for now. I'm guessing we get our uh, magic and stuff back when we beat the chapter. Maybe. But thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? A little far. They're not 
too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Nice. Here's a three hundred dollars. I don't need to fly anywhere else. This is like our last chance to go fly in anywhere. Sort of. Control down, 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 up. Oh. The look, mom, a pilot. I need to get drunk, though. All pilots are very drunk, you don't have enough booze. Serial, I'm a pilot. Are you drunk? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Wee. Nose dive. You're coming in too hot. I'll see you when I see you. Au revoir, mon frère. Materia. Yeah. Well, he's feeling a little stabby. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. So, the men in black robes are coming from... all over the place. Like, a bunch of different places. How, how do they how do they get across like the ocean and stuff like that like the Nebel area is not very accessible to most stuff like how do they how to get here how do they do that how they do that which one is the big fights over here the big fights over here uh is it this one Avian Tyrant. Yeah, I think that's it. This is gonna be tough. I don't think I ever assessed the King Zoo. I never- I put AT Boost on with the express idea of using it. And I never use it. I just forget that it's there. It's super helpful. I just never remember to use it. Oh, red has it already. It's probably wind, right? Makes sense. Maybe. 
wind or lightning. Let's put wind on for now and see if that's it. And if it's not wind, whatever. Whatever, man. We'll find out pretty quickly. Is some asses on this bad boy? Alright, it's lightning. All right, well, we can fix that. Light, lightning, lightning. It was one or the other. It was one or the other. We have a ton of lightning materia. Lightning. He has magnifier. We could just magnify lightning he has lightning in wind and fire and ice okay it's fine just as long as someone can do it all right we got two lightnings we can magnify it and elemental it. Yeah, it's all on our attack. I think that'll be fine. Oh, she maxed out uh, HP up. That's good. What else can we put on her then? Probably move that somewhere else. MP up? Sure. Probably elemental. <laughs> really want that thing to max out. Where's the other? I have the other one. That's the further one along. You know, you're like juggling of... Like, okay, I actually need to use this one. So if it's on the AP, then we can't do anything with it. Like, it's just sitting there gaining, you know, more AP if it's on AP up. So it's like, do I want to use it and actually apply it, or do I want it to gain AP? AP, AP, AP. Don't 
That was the easiest one that we did. Holy crap. It was hands down the easiest one. I did not expect that one to be so easy. I thought that was going to be way more difficult. I... It's at the Chocobo Ranch place, but where is that? Over here? I think this is where the uh, side quest is. Oh, Billy. Huh? Cloud? Billy? What are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage! A living legend! Surely you've heard of the man! <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? We don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? The sage, the real deal. The man's not a sage. How you doing, Covenant? Welcome on in. This sage is the real deal. I don't know. It is pretty weird. I don't think it matters. What? If anyone was gonna get it, figures it'd be you. This man right here wrote the book on Chocobo Rearing. In fact, pretty much all the major breeds maintained these days are products of his techniques. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry. As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. The bird that runs on water? I already found him. There you are, Selena. Well, I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it! This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Ha! There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. Yeah, shake the old man. The Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. 
And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the Gold Cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. They really streamlined that. Like we did we did like everything here, right? Choco grass and all that stuff. Like that's all just one conversation. That's that's cool that they did that. I can appreciate that. I thought we were gonna I don't know, I thought we might actually have to go out and collect some things. An elixir. Nice, we need that. We don't need that. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we would get to be able to choose our chocobo for the race. We don't, huh? Smash? 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 Damn. You prepared to undertake the final trial? Yeah, I think so. Send me to bed. Okay. Got a nice bedtime story for you. From Anastasia Steele. Subject. Gymnastic Linguistics. Date. May 31st, 2011. 2236 Eastern Standard Time. To Christian Gray. I read you the header to an email. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. Hot. My mind's reeling with all the possibilities, as it should. As it should. Yeah, I think this will be good. The Hyperion stuff's pretty solid. I don't remember this race, but it's probably not easy. This dude be cheating. This Dumbledore. I'll get like a special boost. What the hell's a Dumbledore? Ah! I'm gonna go this way. Dude, did you shoot a bubble at him? How do I do it? Ah! Oh! Hey. There we go. I didn't know that I had the, uh... Whoops. I'm not doing well. Mentally? <laughs>
Okay, that was pretty easy. Pluck my ever loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. It's not. Surprise. Well, shoot. You got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting you loose. A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? Nothing. Hmm. How you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself. And clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Yeah, you let me do the hating. Hate, 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 hate. Oakley Dokley? Gyaller? Alright, let's go to the Gyaller Bridge. Bridge. I think we've been successful here. Uh, Cloud, stay close, would you? <laughs> I honestly thought I was ready for this, but it's just too. Rough. We're walking home. Very personal for me, Tifa. Very personal. lost because it looks different so who do you think we built it shinra never mind all that we've got a terminal to find all right so shinra rebuilds the town but how did they do it so accurately Like it's it's one thing to like 
build back up, you know, rise from the ashes after it's been raised to the ground, but how did they do everything so, like, accurate? How did they make it exactly how it was once before? Like, someone went around and documented and they took pictures of everything? Like, how did they do it? Ah, yes, we have an exact replica on file of every town. I'm just, I'm just curious. It just seems wild that they could be so, I mean, video game, sure, but still. How you, how you do, how you do it. I don't think I've saved since we beat Gina Talk, have I? Have I been saving at all? I don't think we have. <laughs> Good sir, I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts, and since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until, you know... I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. I had some thoughts and now they're gone. I was thinking something. What the hell was I thinking? I don't remember. Alright, it's gone like a fart in the wind. My white haired angel. I don't think we can do that yet. The ment of the. Damn it, I don't remember which one that one is. I know this. This is like hunting down the cat. Into the oh, that's right. Something singing inside the Shinra mansion. That's right. That's right. Is this a is this a talking thing? It is. All right. We have to make sure that we get these things right. I don't know if this is one of the last times that we do this, but uh, let's see. Let's see who's in here. <laughs> that walking animation was horrendous. <laughs> All right, so we got Barrett here. Let's check out the play log. What do we got? This might be the last thing for Barrett here. No, we're done with Barrett conversation stuff. All right, so we can just say whatever the hell we want to him. They're everywhere you look. You don't really think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. 
Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? I just want to know what they're rounding him up for. The hell if I know. Nothing good, though. Um... I, I said this last time. Do you think they just were, like, imminent domain and just, like, took our shit? So some people that used to live here are still alive and, you know... I don't know how property transferring works in this... You know, but Tifa and Cloud would both have, you know, their parents' property, right? I want my damn house. I want my damn house. Well, let's see what the other one says. We were going through and doing all the uh, dialogue choices, so even though we're done with them, we might as well see what else Barrett has to say. It's so stiff. Oh, it's that's bad. They're everywhere you look. You don't really think that of course not. First, they rape. We can't let those Not much we can do. That shit right there is how they manage to take over the world. They make you beat yourself. They keep telling you you're powerless and eventually you start believing it. What would you propose that we do then, Barrett? No, oh, not load. We're good. Uh, we gotta take a peek at Aerith here. Let's see. She's definitely slacking. All right, we still need her and we still need Tifa. Probably just one of each. Could be this. Maybe. Talkie talkie. Well, she was at 97, right? Question. This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So, let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just... <sighs> I remember doing this. This was adorable. But also a little sad. To look at this place... You'd never know. Yeah. <gasps> so, which one's your house? Sit next to a girl? That one. Aw, looks cozy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. Hey, girl. So let me guess. This is where you kept lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Gross, no. What? No way! That's not funny. That's not funny. Wasn't trying to be, honestly. Just wanted to know. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I'm gonna head down. I think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. Good, good answer. Good answer.
I don't know that the Question. other answer is going to give us any here? points. Yeah. It totally screams climb me, doesn't it? So let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just. No way. What? No way. I I'd never do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to head down. I think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. Nothing. <laughs> All right. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice to have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it, which stings more than it should that is why i want to be alone plus i might take it out on you and i don't want that i don't mind well i do and it'd only make me feel worse thank you though really i'll be down in a bit see you then that's a real moment right there i like that I like that moment a lot. I and mean, just, it's good writing, you know, it goes to show you, you know, they're, they're real people and she's at least in tune with herself enough to know that she doesn't want to be like a dick to people. I'm just a dick to people. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm going to take it out on you. I don't, I don't mean to. It's just, you know, what happens when friends care? Let's go talk to Tifa. Understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> The problem is, anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. I helped you get through it all? Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. As you should be. All right, let's see what the other one is. That that's that might be the right one. That felt like the right one, the way she responded. Usually there's like 
sometimes the responses aren't always obvious. Like, most of the time you can tell when there's like, yeah, that's the negative one. Don't... <laughs> that's not going to get you anywhere. Sometimes not so much, though. You know... Hmm? I never knew that. Yeah. I guess you wouldn't. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt. Yeah, okay. See, that one, that I didn't choose that one last time specifically because I thought that was going to be the, not the last time, but when we played through it the first time. Like, yeah, that seems like a, a questionable one. You certainly don't look ill. Passing through, I take it? You might have noticed how some of our patients have not... We need to tend to our... You know... Hmm? Have I helped you get... Yeah. Alright. Well, I think we maxed out our relationship there. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you... You know... Always be looking at me. I, uh, what? <laughs> Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. Kinda hate that about myself. I know exactly how she feels. <laughs> Despite this gruff exterior, I want everyone to like me. It's nice when people like you. I think, I think in some way we all have this innate desire to be liked by people. Some people say and try to put on a gruff exterior like, Oh, I don't care, but I think deep down we all kind of care. Wanted to check out the uh, play log here. She's all done. We have to make sure that the date doesn't get chosen as uh, as as her. We need a uh, do Aerith. If it, it would clearly choose her since she's at uh, 100. We don't want that. I wonder what would happen if it if both characters were at 100. I wonder who it would choose. I want to see all the dates with everyone. I also want to know, like, I want to see the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh... The non-intimate, like, I think, I didn't know that there were going to be two separate, like, outcomes. There's just, like, a regular one and then a close one. I'm assuming we got the close one. Like, Cloud, like, pulled Tifa in and gave her a hug and then, like, awkwardly, like, pulled her in and gave her a hug and then, like, pushed her away and then pulled her back in and laid a smacker on her. Oh, you smooth pervert, you. Well, now, who might you be? Good old oh, odiferous right. Tifa. The ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Uh, in that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, huh? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. You see how she's trying to seduce us? You saw how she sashayed away? Girl, you gonna get yourself into trouble. I tell you what. <laughs> Girl. Alright, we got Yuffie and Red. Looks like the reactor's not too far. Hey, Cloud. Ever been up there before? Yeah. Oh? Then give me the skinny. 
What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? What about you? Say, oh, Materia? Uh. Oh. Hmm. Don't know. Never thought to look. Ugh. Freaking amateurs. Honestly. Guess it's true what they say. If you want something done right, you really do gotta do it yourself. Well, that didn't increase anything. What do we got on Yuffie here? 87? That's not bad. We've done none of her synergy. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Oh, yeah, we got a load. It's possible none of these will boost anything. Looks like the reactor's not too far. Hey, Cloud, ever been up there before? Yeah. Uh -huh. Then give me the skinny. What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? What about, say, oh, Materia? We're just getting no. Time for our second Come to think of it. Nope. Uh-huh. Nice try. All right. But you can't fool me. I know what you're up to. You want it all for yourself. Yep, that's it. <laughs> you got it. You saw through me. Yep. Yep. All right, what's red at here? Ninety-four. Something about that place doesn't sit right with me. You mean Shinra Manor? Oh, sorry. No one wants to hear people badmouth their hometown. You know, it doesn't sit right with me, a talking dog. It doesn't make you feel like shit. This isn't my hometown. This isn't my hometown. Not the one I grew up in, anyway. Wonder why they'd go through the trouble of rebuilding it. I could have been it. What does that do? 95. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that seems like that was it. I want to see the other one, though. Something about that. You, you know what doesn't sit right with me? A talking oh, dog. Sorry. No one wants I said that twice. Yeah. It's kind of make you feel like shit. Yeah. That's kind of make you feel like shit. I'm really sorry. Okay, yeah, that was clearly not the correct answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. You better be. Something about You know it doesn't sit right with me. A talking oh, dog. No one wants to hear people badmouth their hometown. This isn't my hometown. Wonder why they'd go through the trouble of rebuilding it. Alright, so that was everyone, right? I did nothing to deserve this. Talk to Barrett. To make their lives a little Barrett. Barrett. Aerith. Tifa. UV Red. Yeah. This is just five, right? I. They say anything? I didn't think the two of them ever said anything else here. Uh, or Barrett. It, it's kind of rude we keep calling them robed guys and stuff. They've got names, right? Yeah, like 7 and 69 and 13 and 41. Yep. Gotta lend the medical team a real, real adult names. Listen, Cloud. I don't know what went down five years ago, but I'm here for you and Tifa. Whatever you need. If it's too much, just say the word. We'll leave. Barrett's a good guy for murdering people. He's a good murderer. He's a good murderer. Here you want to see? 
Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Kinda depends on the angle. Hmm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgard? Yep, real city mouse. It was Cisney. together as soldiers no cisne bro you were here with me five years ago you came with me on the mission Uh, they do a really poor job, a lot of games do with a really poor job of time conveyance. And that was something that, like, I felt in, like, Crisis Core. I, it seemed like, you know, Zack knew Aerith for, like, two days at max, you know? It's not really, it's, it's time to be like, oh, I kind of like them, but not time to be like, oh, we were in love. Like, you hung out, like, twice. You made a cart for her. And then you never saw her again. <laughs> they didn't have a very deep relationship. I came with you once to go sell some flowers and that was it. Like, the game doesn't convey it well. So maybe they knew each other longer, but it, it seemed like it was just like maybe a day or two at most. They didn't have a relationship. Cloud's known Aerith longer than, <laughs> than Zack has. Ah, uh, right, we go to, uh, Kate Sith over here. Don't think of it as a day, think of it as 1,440 whole minutes. It does sound like a lot more. It does sound like a lot more. What's up, Lawful Wood? How you doing, homie? I can't believe this! Oh. You found pornography? Like, nasty pornography? I bet you them Shinra creeps got some gross stuff. I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom. Me. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki is up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. Ah, uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, pal. Just Ducky, thanks. You're in Melbourne, Australia right now. Neat. What are you doing in Melbourne? That's cool. You, you know what I would do if I went there? I would just... I, I know... I would just quote the song uh, Men at Work. I come from a land down under. Can you hear that thunder? I just... I would just quote that song... And, it, and people would be like, oh, God, Americans. And I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> Americans. <laughs> Good night, mate. Didgeridoo. Wallaby dingo. 
staying with your partner. She's an Aussie native. She's actually on tour with Cirque du Soleil for right now. Dude, that's so cool. That's awesome. Is she a performer? That's Nito Bandito. Hell yeah. That's a great excuse, man. That's freaking awesome. So, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it. Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? You'll still be gone for a while. I'm sure there's nothing you need to take care of. I'm putting you in charge of provisions. Then make it snappy. My materia needs me. Why can't you just say Wallaby Dingo? Wallaby Dingo. More soupy yo. That's not a fork. This is a fork. That was like more Boston than Australian. But same thing. Core member of the technical department, so she manages on stage items like swings and treadmills and such. That's cool. There's gotta be people that do that. Do do they also have like safety inspectors and stuff like that? So she makes sure is like the items and stuff are all set up, but someone's gotta go around and be like, this isn't gonna kill anyone. <laughs> New bridge just went in, you know. Might shave some time off the trip. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, reactor word ho! Sir, we've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. By Wu Tai. <laughs> Indeed, and so it begins. It's going real well. It's going real well. We're, we're playing on hard mode. That the new bridge I see up ahead? We're playing on hard mode, so I beat the game already, and we're just uh. We're just getting a little bit of, uh, extra challenge, I guess. Getting my fresh little pretty duties shoved back inside. It's been fun so far. It's tough as hell, man. It is tough as hell I guess hard <laughs> like, most things are pretty easy and then I fight a, a like story boss and I'm like it's impossible you can't do it you can't beat him <laughs> everything's fine nope can't play the game game's impossible I hate the game Worst game ever created, History of Mankind. It's an easy baby game. Hate the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm very fickle with hard mode. Hard mode hard. Feel as though they could have uh, maybe balanced it a little bit better, but by and large. Oh, no, we're going the wrong way. I don't think I wanted to go across the bridge. We wanted to go this way. My bad. Nope. Is this north? Sort of? I don't... Where the hell? Left. I would like to go left. This way. Just go this way. most most confusing path I've ever taken is 
while we're in the woods. This is why we got a map. Let's follow your nose. You know, we got Murasaki's card, and I don't think we ever went through here. You think there's something in there? I never came back down here to go check that out. I bet you there's something in there. I've never been in there. I'm gonna forget. But I would like to stick my nose in there. I would like to do that. And my nose is big, so... It's fun to stick into places. I smells you before I sees you. He's in fate's hands now. What is it? I remember what happened here. Went to Zack. Oh. Bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. I think he's... dead. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Zack was my friend. How could I just forget him like that? Yeah. Degradation. It's hollowing me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remember, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. Thanks. We gotta tell Eric about this. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? I'm close to Aerith, too. I'm close. You don't get to be selfish and tell her bad news. I want to tell her bad news. It'll be good hearing the bad news coming from me. I like how Cloud murdered Zack <laughs> in his memory. Yes, we'll drown him. That's how we'll get rid of him. He's dead. Doesn't really matter how. Dead's dead! It's on now. When people tell stories of my downfall and death, I hope that they're like, Yeah, he died doing what he loved. Chasing tornadoes. <laughs> In reality, I died of a broken heart. But we tell people it was chasing tornadoes. Oh. 
or maybe wrestling a bear that'd be kind of cool and eh, chasing tornadoes is cooler than i mean bear wrestling is neat but it's not chasing a tornado it was an f-16 there's never been a bigger tornado it covered the entire united states well at least the the 48 contingent states not really canada Ten points. Oh, Yuffie's got some points. Let's see what we can spend on Yuffie here. Sixty-five, huh? All right. Mystic multiplication. Aerith clones Yuffie, who launches a sprightly assault. Nice. A sprightly assault. Oh, that was a good one to get. And the tornado had bears in it. Yeah, you had to fight the tor the bear nado. The bear nado. Shark nados don't make any sense, but bear nado makes sense. Obviously. Imagine wrestling bears while flying around in a tornado. Dreams can come true, Kabito Jack. Dreams can come true. But to make it fun. They're panda bears. You know? They're panda bears. They could have been Kodiak, or they could have been... Or they could have been uh, Polar. But no, somehow... Panda bears. And those panda bears? They can't get bamboo in the tornadoes, so they're angry. And a hungry panda bear? Or red pandas, Kai's favorite, but red pandas aren't actually bears. They are adorable as hell, though. They are adorable as hell. Super cute. You know, but the only way a red panda is going to beat me up is if it's rabid. And then, and then, and then I scream like, uh, uh, what's her name? Elena. Then I scream like her. And I scream like her. Too small and adorable. I'd still punch one. <laughs> this is coming at me. Sock it right in the schnoz. And then I'd probably feel bad forever. I'm dying here. Let's not waste any time. I ain't afraid of no panda bear. No, I'm scared of panda bears. I don't know what kind of magic they have. No, no! They are quite adorable, though. I don't know if they still do, but they used to have some in the in the DC Zoo. They used to. Like one of those things where I think they ended up like sending them back or something like that. Alright, they're they're on loan. As you do. Animals be on loan. They're from Japan, right? Do you think that there are any, like, tanuki red pandas with giant testicles? <laughs> like, they put giant testicles on the raccoon. Red pandas look like giant ra look like raccoons, so... I think they're related to raccoons. You think they also have giant testicles? I think they have giant testicles. In my brain, they do. Mako Spring. Wait, so this whole thing is materia? Wow, it's 
so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako's making me queasy. Yeah, me too. It's so big, that's what she said. Got him. Got him. Pick it up. Lazy cloud. It's always a good joke. People laugh at that one all the time. Good one. Screaming to nobody. You'll feel the wrath of the ninja. Who? I'm just saying. Someone's gonna feel wrath. Why y'all making nasty sounds back there? I don't think that I would do well around like two foot crickets. I don't think I would do well. If there were like 10 or so giant two foot crickets in front of me, I'd go, I am going to find some gasoline and light this place on fire and burn it to the ground. Because those things are an abomination and they should not exist. This is not one of God's creatures. <laughs> Then more climbing. Come on, let's find another route. No need to worry. I've already found one. More climbing, but hey. I refuse to climb. That's your stapler? The swing line? It was a gift. I brought it from home, it was a gift. I found it on your desk. It was a gift. You asked for it. You're dead. Oh, it's over. 
Dude, do I get the vacuum again? I want a vacuum. You're dead. Ow. Ciao. Duh, duh, ciao. Unable to obtain Emma. What are you doing? <laughs> How'd you guys get back up here so quick? They're malevolent. I can tell that they're evil. I can tell that they're evil. I don't trust them. They're gonna steal my puppy and eat its eyeballs or something. Puppy eyes are not delicious. I don't know. Maybe puppy eyes are delicious. We'll have to find out. <laughs> don't eat the puppy eyes cereal. Yeah, it's probably a good idea not to. I don't know where they've been. Inside the puppy. <laughs> I think that was it. I don't remember what was down. I don't feel like really exploring anymore down there. We're good. Just move on. We found stuff. Ooh, blue or purple. I don't know. Both. Warding. Dude, I want elemental. Elemental. Ain't nobody want boarding. Well, that's a boss. You're gonna feel this one. Dragon. We did scan it. So ice, good. We got this. Let's get Yuffie some, uh... It exploded? I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect Cloud to just, like, fall down right there. Okay, 
He just took a little tumble. Oh, I thought we had, uh... He may not be able to get it off here. No, he did. Okay, cool. That was just a tough enemy. I thought that was gonna be a, a boss. Is just he was just an enemy. Feeling good today. Plenty of your people immigrated to Midgar before the war. Some of their kids and grandkids probably worked for Shinra. Oh. Huh. I had never thought about that before. There's gotta be a way to get down. I remember this. I thought there were two sets here. This is the one that only has one set. Look at all the boxes! Made me feel good. Smashy, smashy. All left, baby. All left. Big ass industrial vacuum battery. What the hell is this thing? I don't think we need to go down a bunch. But there was definitely a treasure there. And I'm gonna put it inside me. As one down is a rotten thing that's rotten. How'd you get down here before me? You. All set. Gotcha. Take that. Yeah. 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 
Oh, Yuffie's dead. Good. No need to panic. Watch yourself. I got this. Your now's our chance. Let's finish. All done. Good. As planned, you only have one HP, so solid. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Eh, yeah, good enough. Should have switched to Tifa from the beginning. The enemies can be a little scary, though. If they scream and knock you unconscious. I guess it's not that weird for people to move to different countries. And it's not like we don't welcome foreigners into Wutai either. I mean, take Colonel Lockrock, he and Viceroy Saru. There's reason we have an interim government in the first place. This whole team is made up of nothing but ex soldiers. A bunch of badasses who decided to give Shimra the finger. Kinda like you. Nothing like me. That's so much in common, you be best buds. You're too late to join the cause. Hmm. There was another place you could use the card. Did we ever use the card there either? I'm dead serious, you know. I really think you'd like the time. Could bring the whole gang even. We'll start our own spec ops unit. The Yuffie Recon Patrol. Shinra will be afraid to even speak our name. They'll stand in awe of the fair ninja who leads her loyal minions and tremble in fear when they see the wire piece coming in hot. <laughs> People will be banging down the door to buy our film rights. Your stunned silence says more than words ever could. I knew you'd be on board. Please shut up. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got him. This is a long elevator ride. This is the entrance, right? They're ninjas from Wutai. Which means we're at war. But what about my mission? Command call it off. Why didn't anyone tell me? Aren't we in the middle of a ceasefire, though? That's what they say. Still, doesn't mean we are. And it makes no difference to them either way. Come on. We gotta find Murasaki.
The lighting sometimes in this is just awful. Like the the models do don't look this. bad, but man. No one told you anything? No, nothing. I had no idea they were planning an operation. I should have been here. Should have done something for them. You've done tons for us. Remember that. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, as usual, I forgot to take the trash out, so <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta go take the trash out. I don't know what boss we're gonna fight here. It'll be a surprise. 
I don't remember... I don't remember what we fought. Yeah, don't make eye contact. Nobody look at anybody. Who's there? We're here to help. Ah, hentai monster. Ice? Okay. I was ready for that. the copy. Easy. We gotta find Murasaki. It made an extra clone. I don't ever recalling it making two clones. I only ever recall it making one, but that was at least <laughs> you know I'm kinda happy. You know, for every Gina talk we need a demonic variant, you know. <laughs> I think I deserve that. Go to beach. <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay. Hey, I think we found our guy. We need to check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone.
soon, Cloud. Soon. You okay? Yeah. And this. They both had moments. Huh? Twinsies. Ah, Yuppie. And where might you be? Back room off Mako storage. You? Town hall still. Thought I might be able to do something from here. So I tried accessing the reactor terminal. Anyway, did you find Murasaki? Yeah, we did. He died in a skirmish with Wutai. He... what? Then we don't have much time. We have to reach the terminal in Shinra Manor before word gets out. You've got the key card, right? Yeah. Good. Then slot it into the console. I'll work my magic from here. Should have that gate open before you know it. There, my son. I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. See you there. <laughs> Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio. See ya. Let's go. Well, you heard them. Time is of the essence. We need to find that terminal, ideally before they get back. Yes, sir. You stay behind and wait for them. Once they arrive, you can put that nose of yours to work. Follow our scent right to us. <sighs> you gotta admit, you're the best one for the job. I will concede you have a point. Then let's get a move on. actually went really well i'm a little surprised i remember this part quite well because we have like a whole section that we have to use kate sith for and uh i remember that being really tough i remember that being super duper tough i did not prepare for that well so this time through we'll have to prepare a bit better for it at least try to prepare a bit better for it there were those enemies, the Arbiters, I think they're called. Agitator? Maybe it's both. Maybe there's Arbiters and Agitators. And uh, they would put up uh, physical uh, barriers and magical barriers. I think depending on like what kind of attack you were using. They were just giant pains in the ass to kill. I'm sure they're not too bad if you have an idea of what you're doing i'll have to i'll have to try to bring something we'll bring one of those things that that destroys those barriers make sure that we try to have some uh what do you call it the Breach. I think it's Breach. Maybe it's not Breach. There's one of those. Right? Make sure that we have something like that on them. What is it? None of those. Dispel. Yeah, whatever this one. Subversion. I guess that's what we'll end up needing, I think. I save? I save now. Alright. That's gonna have to do it for me today, though. I got a bunch of stuff I need to do today. Oh, whole bunch of stuff. But thanks, everyone, for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Let's go find a cool and nifty person to go raid, as you do.
as we do. I think we made some good progress. It took a little while. It took us a couple hours to get through Gi Natak. He was tough. He was tough. But we beat him. We beat him. So we're making... We're making progress. How about we go raid Matt Calder? He's playing through the original Dragon's Dogma. He's playing through the original Dragon's Dogma. He's a really cool cat. Why don't you all come along and say hey? I will be back tonight, and we will play some uh, more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm assuming we'll probably get into Chapter 12. I don't know how much beyond Chapter 12 we'll get, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make our way into Chapter 12. Finish up 11, hopefully. I don't know. I, I remember Kate Sis part like being pretty headache filled. I remember that being pretty tough. But either way, guys, enjoy your mornings, afternoons, evenings, whatever you got going on today. Have beautiful days. Today's Friday, right? Today's Friday is Friday is Friday. Enjoy your Fridays. If I don't see you guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Enjoy it. Friday's a great day, so celebrate. Have good days. I will will I will be back tonight and we'll uh, we'll keep playing this. I'm I'm hoping we get into chapter 12. I'm really hoping we get into chapter 12. Cuz I really want to see what these uh other dates are like and we when we get into chapter 12 it's just going to be we might spend like the entire evening in chapter 12 just because there's so much extra content that they go, well maybe it's not that much. I don't know. You get a bunch of side quests and stuff it might just be doing side quests. Either way, guys, go say hey to Matt. He's playing Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Peace out. Bye-bye.